This world is just too small. Who's there? Open the door.
meteor shower. Why does it seem so familiar? Give me a break, Aqua. Then, you hopeless sleepyhead. You know, you should have at least brought a blanket. But... did I dream that place up? It really felt like I'd been there before. Looking up at the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Except you've always lived here with us. Yeah. I know. Hey, Aqua. Hmm? You ever wonder what stars are? Where light comes from? Hmm. Well, they say... That every star up there is another world. Huh? Oh. Terra. Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, Ven. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now. You're too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Tara, you and I have our Mark of Mastery exams tomorrow. I made us good luck charms. Uh, wow. Here. I get one too? Of course. One for each of us. Yeah. Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star shaped fruit. And the fruit represents an unbreakable connection. So as long as you and your friends carry good luck charm shaped like it, nothing can ever drive you apart. You will always find your way back to each other. Technically, I think you're supposed to make them with seashells, <laughs> but I did the best with what I had. Why, sometimes you are such a girl. Hey, what do you mean sometimes? So this isn't a real good luck charm? Well... That's yet to be seen. But I did work a little magic on it. Really? What? <laughs> An unbreakable connection. Hey, uh, we're gonna head back. Yeah, me too.
together. Always. That would be the last night we ever spent beneath the same stars. Mickey, I cannot shake the feeling something terrible is about to transpire. Hmm? Today you will be examined for the mark of mastery. Not one, but two of the Keyblades chosen stand here as candidates. But this is neither a competition nor a battle for supremacy. Not a test of wills, but a test of heart. Both of you may prevail, or neither. But I am sure our guest, Master Sayanort, did not travel all this way to see our youngest prospects in years fall short of the mark. I trust you are ready. Yes. yes. Then let the examination begin. about me. You two focus on the exam. But Ven, you're in danger here. Go wait in your room. No way. I've been looking forward to this. Seeing you two become masters. I'm not gonna miss it now. He could take care of himself. He's been out there training just as hard as us. Yeah. Stay sharp, Ven. That was unexpected. But one must keep a still heart even in the most trying of circumstances. It was an excellent test, one I chose to let unfold. Which brings us to your next trial. Now, Terra and Aqua, the two of you will face each other in combat. Remember, there are no winners, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Begin! We have deliberated and reached a decision. Terra, Aqua, you both performed commendably. However, only Aqua has shown the mark of mastery. Terra, you fail to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. But there is always next time. That is all. Aqua, as our newest Keyblade Master, you are entitled to certain knowledge. Please wait here for further instruction. Hey.
Terra. I'm sorry. The darkness. Where did it come from? What do you make of Ventus? He ain't gonna cut it. Somebody's gotta break that loser in. Not here, you won't. I have to keep up appearances. I know that. He just needs a little incentive to leave home. <sighs> Sorry. But I need some time alone. <sighs> There's darkness within me. So what does that matter? I know I'm strong enough to hold it back. Yes. <laughs> you are indeed strong. The darkness has nothing to fear. Master Xehanort. And yet, how frustrating that Ericus refutes its power. Why, you could train with him forever, and still, you'd never be a master in his eyes. But why? Help me understand, Master Xehanort. What is it that I failed to learn? You're fine as you are. <laughs> Darkness cannot be destroyed. It can only be channeled. Yes. Thank you, Master. Ventus. Huh? Who are you? Or you'll never see Terra again. What? Get real! I can see Terra anytime I want. Like right now? He's leaving you behind. And by the time you catch up, he'll be a different person. Look, whoever you are, you don't know the first thing about Terra. Me and him will always be a team. You trying to pick a fight or what? Now oh, grow up. Is that what you call friendship? You'll never know the truth unless you go out and look for it yourself. Come on, what could you possibly know when you're stuck here, looking at nothing but what's in your tiny world? And in so much as you are now Keyblade Master, you must always be conscious of... <laughs> what is that? What happened? I don't know. Why isn't Ven here? Very well then. I will send my pupils to investigate. Yes, I understand. Farewell. That was my dear old friend Yen Sid. As you know, he is master no more, but he still keeps a close eye on the tides of light and darkness. His counsel serves as signposts on the 
road we wielders of the Keyblade must walk. All the more reason then for concern, for he tells me the princesses of heart are in danger. Not only from the forces of darkness, as you may assume, but also from a new threat, one that feeds on negativity. Fledgling emotions that have taken monster form. Yen Sid calls them the unversed. As wielders of the Keyblade, you are tasked with striking down any who would upset the balance of light and darkness. The unversed are no exception. I tried to pass this news on to Master Xehanort, but my repeated attempts to reach him have failed. I doubt there is any connection, and yet this all troubles me. Master Xehanort is gone? So here we are. I need you two to get this situation under control. Eliminate the unversed and find Master Xehanort. I have unlocked the lanes between. You may use these forbidden pathways to travel between this world and countless others. The darkness looms closer than usual within these spaces, but your armor will protect you. Lastly, Remember that order must be kept. You cannot tell anyone there are other worlds. Now go, and fulfill your duty. Yes, yes Master. Master. Terra, consider this an opportunity. A second chance for you to change my mind. What? You must know. I care for you like my own son. If I could have my way, I would name you Master in a second. But how can I, when you are so obsessed with power? Terra, you mustn't be afraid of losing. Fear leads to obsession with power, and obsession beckons the darkness. You must never forget. Thank you, Master. I swear, I will not fail you again. Oh. Master, I best be on my way. Wait, Aqua. Before you depart, I have one other, well, call it a request, of the utmost priority. Yes? I told Terra this could be a second chance to show the mark of mastery, and I meant it. However, that flicker of darkness he displayed during the examination, I can sense it runs very deep. If he were to... If those powers were to prove too much for him to handle, I want you to bring him back to me at once. It's for his own good. I could not bear to lose any of you to the darkness. Of course. I would never let that happen. I promise you I will bring Terra back. Only this time, you'll see he has what it takes to be a master. He's not as weak as you think. It's okay.
mustn't. You have to bring him back. Don't worry, Master. Monsters. The ones the Master mentioned. These are the Unversed. No, you don't! you asleep, boy. That fool Slora cast a spell to put everyone in this castle into a deep, deep slumber. Who are you? Why, I am Maleficent, as all who dwell in this kingdom would know. Now you must reciprocate the introduction. Who are you? I'm Terra. What do you know about those monsters? The ones who attacked me? Hmm. <laughs> Now why would I give a thought to creatures so base, so inconsequential? <laughs> well, they are base, that's for sure. Anyway, I'm looking for someone. Ever heard of a man named Xehanort? That name is not familiar to me. Is he an outsider like yourself? Oh, but wait. I do remember someone leaving the castle. Tell me, what was he doing there? I couldn't say. I can only be certain he was not from this kingdom. If you're curious, go see the castle for yourself. There, the entrance is past the bridge. Thanks. <laughs> Perhaps he did speak about imprisoning the light. The light could be so many things. Could he have meant Princess Aurora? Aurora. This feels so familiar. Her heart is filled with light. Not the slightest touch of darkness. Just the kind of heart I need. For what? Imagine with me the most glorious of futures. 
seven of the purest hearts, each overflowing with light. When brought together, they grant the power to rule all worlds. What do you mean? Why, that key you hold. The Keyblade, is it called? Where did you learn that name? That trinket is the only way to obtain the hearts. No more games! Where is Master Xehanort? Impudence will get you nowhere, child. If you wish to learn more, you must retrieve the heart of Aurora. And why would I ever want to do that? It's not a matter of why, but of will. In your heart, there is darkness just waiting to be awakened. I don't know what you're talking about. Perhaps not yet. But I have power over sleep. And I can awaken what's inside you. Then you will be free to be who you truly are. Remember, the darkness lurks in every heart. Darkness is our foe. Would that we could be rid of it. You must destroy it. Push the darkness down. Give it no quarter in your heart. <laughs> Here it is. Just what I've waited for. <sighs> to think that all he spoke of was and will be true. What? How did I... <sighs> what did I do? What did you do? You speak as if I pulled some invisible strings. No, you couldn't be further from the truth, child. I simply whispered to the darkness you already held inside. How could I do this? Then! Yes, now you want to know where Xehanort went. Well... That I cannot answer. He disappeared into the darkness. But now I know the Keyblade is necessary to gather hearts. Join me. Collect six more hearts of pure light. Then we will rule all the worlds together! You seem to be mixed up. I'm a peacekeeper, not a tyrant. Hmm. For a peacekeeper, you're off to an exceptionally poor start. Remember this. The darkness in your heart cannot be held back by force or strength. Now, my work here is done, as is yours. Wasn't there someone you needed to change? <laughs> the Unburst. They're gonna bring down the castle. I have to do something. It's my fault her light was stolen. It was because I was weak. I'm sorry. I'll get your light back. Once I learn to stand up against the darkness. Why would Master Xehanort imprison the light? The purest hearts of light. Do they hold the answer? <laughs> 
Seven pure hearts, each completely void of darkness. Such a search may take some time. Spirit of the mirror, come from the farthest space. Through wind and darkness, I summon thee. Speak! Show me thy face. What wouldst thou know, my queen? Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Famed is thy beauty, Majesty, but hold, a lovely maid I see. Alas, she is more fair than thee. Alas for her! Reveal her name! Lips red as the rose, hair black as ebony, skin white as snow. Oh, snow white? A mirror that knows and sees everything. How about that? The heart of Snow White doth shine bright. Beware, my queen, a heart of light. Another one? Wait. What if Master Xehanort is here? <gasps> Who goes there? My name is Terra. I'm looking for a man named Xehanort. Master Xehanort. I thought maybe you might have seen him. That name is of no consequence to me. Wait. Ah, yes. I have a task for you. If you succeed, I will ask the mirror where you might find this Master Xehanort. And the mirror will know? Do you dare to question me? <laughs> what is the task? <laughs> there is a young maid who resides in this castle. Her name is Snow White. Kill her. And to make sure you do not fail, bring back her heart in this. Her heart? I don't understand. You're after the Hearts of Light too? What I demand is her life. I've had more than enough of her light. What did this maiden do to you? That is no concern of yours. Now, heed my words. My radiance is all the light this kingdom needs. Where can I find her? Outside the castle, there is a glade of wildflowers. You are dismissed. Go now and seek her there. A heart of light. This Snow White is my best chance right now. Maybe she will lead me closer to Master Xehanort. But what if I... No, I won't let that happen. I wonder if that's her. Oh! Oh, hello! Who are you? Aren't you startled? Should I be? 
It's true, then. Her heart is pure light. She's the one. Is something the matter? Does the name Xehanort mean anything to you? Why, why no. I don't think I've ever heard that name. Now what? <laughs> Unversed! Oh! Hey, wait! Don't go in there alone! <laughs> Out of my way! Lost her. She said she doesn't know anything about Master Xehanort. That leaves me with just one other option. The mirror. Back at the castle. How dare you return here, you blundering fool! What are you talking about? I ordered you to bring me Snow White's heart. A request I chose to ignore. You know, you claim to be radiant, but all I see are shadows of jealousy hanging thick on your heart. You will pay for such insolence. Magic mirror on the wall. Consume this fool once and for all. Alas, my liege, that I cannot do. I have no power save answers true. Huh? You dare defy your queen? <gasps> what? Did you escape? Now you will ask the mirror. Where can I find Master Xehanort? Uh, magic mirror, instruct this knave. Give him the answers he doth crave. Beyond both light and dark he dwells, where war was waged upon the fells. Is that all? Thanks. You've been a big help. Oh, 
You mean, you're not here for our diamonds? That's not nice. Treating me like some kind of bad guy? I'm just trying to find a friend. His name is Tara. He's dressed kind of like me, about yay tall. Sounds like a tall tale to me. Go on, get! We don't know any Tara. <sighs> Please, could you come over here? I just want to talk. Don't fall for it. Stay where you are. All right. Then we'll do this the hard way. Yeah. Come on. I'm telling you, I'm no thief. That's what they all say. Well, we're on to you. Fine, I get it. You want me to leave, I'll leave. Oh, but can you tell me where I can find some other people around here? There's a castle beyond the chorus. I mean the forest. Got it. Well, thanks. Probably just seeing things. It happens to all of us when we're afraid. Oh, thank you. I feel quite better now. I'm sure I'll get along somehow, but I do need a place to sleep at night. Would you know anywhere I might? Well, I saw a house just up ahead. Come on, I'll take you there. Oh, I'm Ventus. Then, for short. Thank you, then. My name's Snow White. Great. Let's get going. Hmm. I'm pretty sure you'll be safe here. But sit tight while I look around. Someone's asleep in here. The coast is clear. Not a monster in sight. Huh. Couldn't stay away, could you? And who invited you in, you rotten thief? Oh no, he's not a thief. He rescued me. You mustn't be more. I mustn't be fooled by him, Princess. Just go on and get! Please don't send him away. You see, he helped me when I was lost, and oh so very frightened. What happened? Well, I was picking flowers by the wood, and there was a stranger there. He had a sword, but it was like a key, and then these monsters came and... A sword like a key? Tara! You mean this stranger saw you and sent his horde of evil demons after you? Tara would never do that! Oh, of course. I'm sure he wouldn't. Not if he's someone who's your friend. Princess, you trustin't be so musting. Oh, uh, trusting. He's a lion! Mark my words! I'll prove it! <sighs> Back off!
Excuse me, ma'am. You dropped this. Eh? Oh, I thank you, my pet. To tell the truth, I really don't know what I would have done without that. <laughs> Haven't I seen that sword before? Terra has one. You know Terra? Oh, yes, yes. That ruffian pointed one of those at me asking about some Xehanort. My poor heart nearly stopped. That doesn't sound like him at all. Ma'am, where did Terra go? I'm sure I have no idea. <sighs> Must you all menace a poor granny so? What? No, I, I was just... Tara, what did you do? Jack, what's all the fuss about? Somebody new in the house! Somebody never saw her for! Oh, a new friend! Where is he? In a trap trap! Down the stairs! Oh, dear! <sighs> what is going on? Tell me how I got so small! <sighs> Don't be afraid. Oh! How interesting. I've never seen a mouse like you before. Mouse? Jack, you better explain things to him. Uh. Huh? Now, now, now! Look a little guy, break her easy! Not a worry, pal! We like a you! Flinderelli like a you too! She's a nice, very nice, nice! <laughs> Come on now! Jump her! Name it Jack! I'm Ventus! Call me Vent! Santa Benza! Need a Santa? Ask the Jack! Cinderella? Oh well, time to get to my chores. I'll see you in a little while then. Wow, I guess she's got her hands full. Just work, work, work. Step Muddy keep a Flinderelli busy all day. She didn't seem to mind much though. No, not so Flinderelli. She work a hard. Got a dream, big dream. Dream gonna come true. That sounds like somebody I know. <sighs> Being a Keyblade Master is all I've dreamed about. Hey, maybe you can help me find him. His name's Terra. You seen him? Eh, uh, no, no. Never saw Terra before. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. Come on, follow me. Gotta see the house. What's that? That's a palace! King's palace! Gonna be a big ball tonight! Is Cinderella going? <sighs> I don't know. Huh? Hello, you two. Have you become friends already? Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> You sure look happy, Cinderella. Hmm. I'm going to the royal ball tonight. <sighs> I guess dreams really do come true. Cinderella! 
My dress will have to wait. Cinderella! Cinderella! All right, all right. I'm coming. Poor Cinderella. She not go to the ball. Why not? You see, they fix her. Work, work, work. She'll never get a dress done. Say, got an idea. Then then hip a jack. With what? Fix a Cinderella dress for the ball. But what do we need to get? Look around the house. Lots of pretty, pretty things. Okay, let's do it. I'll go find whatever we need. Jacques, you get things set up here. Zuck, zuck. <sighs> ben, Ben, carefree Rusafi. Rusafi? Rusafi, a cat cat. Mean and sneaky. Jump a two, bite a two. <laughs> gotcha. Leave it to me. Oh, there it is. Jack, I'll hold them off. Run! Zip, zip. Oh, that's a big thank you. No thanks needed. You saved me before, so I saved you. That's what friends do, right? Zip, zip. Then, then Jack, a good friend. Now. Let's get that dress finished. Oh well, what's a royal ball? After all, I suppose it would be frightfully dull and boring and completely, completely wonderful. Cinderella! Is that my dress? Yes. It's a present from us. Now you have a dress for the ball. <laughs> Why, it's... it's such a surprise. Flurry, flurry! Time to go, Flurry! Oh, thank you. Hope of Flanderelli dream come true. What's a Vendendary? Huh? I wonder. <laughs> Being a Keyblade, Keyblade Master is all I've dreamed about. about. Well, you're, well not you're not the, the only, only one. one. I know. You, me, and Ven all share, all share the same, the same dream. dream. Funny. I'd never really thought about it. At least until you asked me. My dream is to become a Keyblade Master. Hope a Ven Ven dream come true, too. I just need to keep on believing. Right? Zug zug. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Is something wrong? It's just that my friends made me the most beautiful dress, but my stepmother and stepsisters ruined it, and I was so looking forward to the ball. Huh? Oh. Darkness always finds a way into a wounded heart. You have to be strong. The strength of heart will carry you through the hardest of trials. But I... Unversed! I can't believe. Oh. Not anymore. Uh, Strength of heart is huh? important, but that's not all huh? you need. Huh? There's nothing left to believe in. Nothing. Nothing, my dear. Oh, now, you don't really mean that. Oh, but I do. It's just no use. Nonsense. If you'd lost all your faith, I couldn't be here. And here I am. Oh, come now. Dry those tears. You can't go to the ball looking like that. The ball? Oh, but I'm not. Of course you are. But we'll have to hurry. Now, what were those magic words? Oh, yes! Bibbidi bobbidi boo! Beautiful dress. Huh? Why, it's a dream come true. Yes, but like all dreams, I'm afraid this can't last forever. You'll have only till midnight, and then on the stroke of twelve, the spell will be broken, and everything will be as it was before. Yes, I understand. full of light. Why didn't I see it? What did you do? I can hardly tell she's the same person. Who are you? Tara. Tara, in your heart, do you believe that dreams can come true? I do. But I also believe you have to make an effort to make them come true. Yes, of course. But sometimes just believing in dreams is easier said than done. Cinderella believes her dreams can come true. I wanted her to see that she is right. So that's what made her shine. Faith in her heart that anything is possible. Where did she go? To the royal ball at the palace. Go, and when you see her dancing, you'll know that she believes, and that will help you to believe too. Here too. I've met you before. I'll take care of them. You wait right here. Please, may I go with you? I so want to get to the ball. Um. All right. 
But stay behind me, or you'll get hurt. <laughs> You're not worried? Didn't you tell me it was important to stay strong? Oh. Um, I guess I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, you ready? Yes. Oh, thank you, um... Tara. Thank you, Tara. Maybe just believing is enough. But who is she, Mother? Do we know her? Well, the Prince certainly seems to. I've never seen her before. Nor I. But she certainly is. Wait. There is something familiar about her. Unversed! <laughs> Tell me, how do I get up there? <clears throat> well, uh, there is a passage beneath the foyer staircase. Thanks. Saved us all. <sighs> the guests were just starting to enjoy themselves. Well, don't give up just yet. Oh! Tell me something. Have you always had a problem around here with those monsters? No. I believe uh, they began to appear shortly after a boy in a mask arrived in our kingdom. Those that saw him said the monsters obeyed his every command. A boy in a mask? Do you know where he is now? Well, um, no. I don't believe anyone has seen him since then. I see. Oh, my goodness. It's midnight. Yes, so it is. But why? Goodbye. Wait, come back. Please come back. I'm sorry. Mademoiselle! Senorita! Wait! Aqua! Tara! Tara, Ven ran away from home. What? I think he left to go find you. Do you have any idea why? No. Actually, 
Just before I left, he tried to tell me something. I should have listened to what he had to say. Oh. So, did you manage to locate Master Zaynort? No, but it seems he's looking for pure hearts filled with light. Pure hearts filled with light? All I can tell you is that his search hasn't taken him here. All right. I'll stay and see if I can find more clues. Okay. The prince is in the ballroom ahead. He might have some answers. Thanks. <laughs> Aqua! You still have the same dream? Well, yes. There's this girl here. Her name is Cinderella. She made me realize how powerful it is just to believe. No matter how impossible things seem, a powerful enough dream will always be enough to light the darkness. Mm. If you see her, give her my thanks. Will do. The boy in the mask who is leading the unversed. Who is he? Does he have anything to do with Master Xehanort's disappearance? Master Ericus said he first received word of these events from Master Yen Sid. Maybe it's time I went and spoke with him myself. He'll be alright. He won't give in to it. those ladies? Oh, if I recall correctly, that is Lady Tremaine, and those are her daughters. There was something very wrong about them. You came back. Huh? Oh, my apologies. I was mistaken. <laughs> Your Highness, I found this on the palace stairs. A glass slipper. One dropped by a lovely young lady, and I'll search far and wide to find the maiden to whom this belongs. You will? Of course, Your Highness. After all, you finally found someone whom you wish to marry. Upon hearing that happy news, your father, the king, has decreed that a quest shall begin immediately throughout the kingdom. And I will start with the closest residence, that of Lady Tremaine. Lady Tremaine. I'd better pay her a visit. You honor our humble home, my lord. <clears throat> Quite so. May I present my daughters, Grisella and Anastasia? As I feared, there is darkness here. Wait! It's dangerous to fight the darkness with light, my dear. Who are you? Cinderella's fairy godmother. I appear to those who believe the dreams come true. Then I'm honored. But why would you advise me not to fight darkness with light? Strong rays of sun create dark shadows. Sadly, Lady Tremaine and both her daughters are jealous of Cinderella's charm and beauty. Qualities that appear to you as light. Jealousy is darkness. Light and dark go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. Then, what should I do? It's quite simple, dear. One of Cinderella's friends is trying very hard to keep her light from fading. I want you to join Little Jack and help him. I can do that. You'll need a bit of my magic to help, Shark. <laughs> Come back and see me when you're ready. Bibbidi bobbidi boo!
Are you okay? Linda Valley, step muddy like a run. Gotta let her out. Gotta save Linda Valley. <laughs> let me help you. Oh, yuck, yuck. Oh, that's how like Ben fans. Do you ever meet a Ben? I'm Aqua. But tell me how you know about Ven. As a friend, good friend. Ven Ven help a jack fix a friend of belly to rest. And where is he now? Look up a friend, other friend. I see. Ven, you must have just missed Terra. I can't understand why. It always fit perfectly before. Quite enough of this. The next young lady. Please. Oh no, hear that? Gotta flurry! Flinder really gotta try that flipper! Come on, come on, flurry! Ah! No, 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 no! I said gotta flurry! It's alright, leave this to me. Jack, don't lose that key. You're the only ladies here? There's no one else, Your Grace. Come on, hurry, Jack. All right, if I tried on the glass slipper. Hmm. I met you at the palace. Unfortunately, you are not the young lady the prince is looking for. But I am a girl. I should at least be given a chance to try it on. Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? She's probably here to rob us. Mother, do something! That girl does not live here. I have only two daughters. I believe we're finished here, Your Grace. Regardless, she means no harm. Here you are, my dear. Jack, hurry. Your Grace, please wait. May I try it on? Pay no attention to her. She's just an imaginative child. Madam, my orders were every maiden. You should let her go first. Thank you. I actually want to thank you for teaching Tara he needs to keep believing. <laughs> what will I do? Please, don't worry. You see, I have the other slipper. must inform the prince immediately. You will come with me, of course. I'd be happy to. It's not fair! She's a scullery maid! Mother! Are you just going to let them leave? No. Cinderella will be put in her place. What happened? Where is Cinderella? She, she was attacked by a, a creature, a, a monster in the forest. A monster? Ha 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 ha! 
This is what happens when you go against my wishes. The darkness in their hearts overtook them. Go. Your heart filled with light? It's strange. The Master taught me darkness needs to be destroyed. But how, if not with light? Oh, my dear, you're too young to know. Experience more things, and you'll find the answer. Just trust in your dreams. Master Yen Sid. My name is Terra. Yes, Ericus's pupil. I've been expecting you. It is the unversed. Yes, Master Yen Sid. I thought it best to seek the counsel of one wiser than myself. I am no longer a master. I doffed that mantle. But sir, wasn't that your pupil I passed on the way in? He had a keyblade. You refer to Mickey. He too sought guidance here. As a king, he is good and kind. But the weight of a crown has not cured him of impetuousness. He has left with an object whose power he does not understand nor know how to control. Mickey imagines my Star Shard will be of help in his current quest. And like you, he is eager to use his Keyblade to set things right. I'm not sure I even understand what's wrong. Master Xehanort is missing. And now I've learned, there's a masked boy who is controlling those unversed on the loose. To arrive at the truth, perhaps you should approach things differently. First, consider them one and the same problem. Master Xehanort and the Unversed are connected somehow? I must not make assumptions. Find Xehanort, Terra. That is where you should begin. 
Yes, sir. I had hoped, Xehanort, your heart would no longer lead you astray. Master Xehanort! Kera! Come see me at once! <laughs> Master Xehanort! I have been to other worlds. I know all about the things you've done. I just don't understand why. Someone had to safeguard the light from the demon I unleashed. You must know about the boy by now, the one in the mask. His name is Vanitas, a creature of pure darkness, one of my making. Vanitas? Are you telling me he came from you? He came from Ventus. <laughs> Ventus? Yes. Vanitas is the darkness that was inside your friend. <gasps> it was an accident. While training with me, Ventus succumbed to darkness, and there was but one way to save him. Strip that part of him away, and thus Vanitas was made. In the process, I damaged Ventus's heart in the most horrific way. So, I did what I felt was right and left him with Heracus. I knew the boy could not stay with me, the man who did him such grievous harm. Master Xehanort. Ventus has gotten a lot better since then. You shouldn't blame yourself for trying to save him. Well, thank you, lad. You know how to put an old man's heart at ease. So that's what it was. Is he okay? I'll go see. I'm Tara. What's your name? Ventus. Whew. You can talk. Aqua, come here! <laughs> So, are you here to train with us? Where are you from? Who is that man with you? You good with a keyblade? Whoa! What's the matter? Are you okay? What did you do? Nothing! I... I just asked him some stuff. Ventus cannot tell you anything. Because he cannot remember anything. Huh? Master, why is Venita still free? Ah, yes. Well, I did my best to contain him the moment he emerged, but... He managed to escape. Hmm. 
Vanitas uses the Keyblade to sow seeds of darkness. And now you see... the world's team with his ghastly underlings. The Unversed. He has no control over the darkness in his heart. The Keyblade is not his to bear. He's an abomination beyond hope of salvation. Lend me your strength, Terra. Right this wrong that I have wrought. But... I have no idea where to find him. What I can tell you about Vanitas amounts to this. His darkness is drawn to the light which he seeks to disrupt. And then destroy. It stands to reason that he will strike next in the City of Light, Radiant Garden. <laughs> Don't worry, Master. I'll take care of Vanitas. What has happened here? Poor Snow White. <laughs> she was just as sweet as could be. She sang us pretty songs. And made us smile. At bedtime, she told wonderful stories. About falling in love and the prince she met. And when we went to work, she gave us all a kiss. She was so full of kindness. Why, she made better folk of all of us. From what you've said, she must have been very loved. But how did this happen to her? A wicked queen was horribly jealous of our dear Snow White's beauty. So she used her evil magic to change into an old hag. Then she gave Snow White a poisoned apple. And by the time we got here, well, it was just too late. We found the princess as still as can be. Nothing we could do would wake her. Isn't there some way we can help her? Well, not unless somebody craves the vessel. I'll brave the castle. No, you fools can stay here doing nothing. But I'm not a fear to going, not even to that witch's lair. You'll never make it. The castle's supposed to be guarded by magic and crawling with monsters. Hmm. All right, then I'll go. You will? I will. Leave it to me. Well, all right, my dear. We'd be much obliged. Is something wrong? This castle. It's different somehow. And I can't find the princess or hear her beautiful voice. Was it all a dream? Wait. You mean you know Snow White? Oh, yes. We met once. It was a song that drew us together. Has something happened to the princess? Yes. I'm afraid so. The Wicked Queen tricked her into eating a poisoned apple. 
I must go to her. Where is she? In the woods, guarded by seven kind dwarfs. I will find her. Perhaps there's a way I can help. Something's not right. Princess! Don't you wake up? You're awake, Ventus. Oh, it's a miracle. Terra, Master Ericus, Ventus is awake. is a new journey. Maybe Vent left because it was his time. Still no sign of Terra. Oh. <sighs> 
Stop! You get away from her! What? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, I've never seen anyone so beautiful. Who are you? I'm Ventus. But you can call me Ven. Oh, you don't seem bad, dear. I'm certain you have a pure heart, just like our precious Aurora. Can you tell me why she's sleeping? Long ago, Maleficent cursed her. Now she's stolen her heart. Hmm. Well then, why don't I go get it back for her? That's impossible, dear. Maleficent's home is at the Forbidden Mountain. It's not safe. I'm not afraid. We, we can't just leave Aurora like this. I can help. You gotta believe me. Come on. Let's go get her heart. You know, you're absolutely right. The Forbidden Mountain is through the forest. Come along. Follow us. After all, we wouldn't want you to get lost. Looks like we're stuck. This must be Maleficent's doing. I know. Shall we? Yep. Careful, they're Maleficent. Well, they ain't guarding nothing. Tension! No sleeping on the job. That should do it. <gasps> Don't you remember? We've met before. We... we have? Why, of course, you said so yourself. Once upon a dream. I never thought I would meet you. Outside of my dreams, that is. Who are you? What's your name? Hmm? Oh, my name. Why, it's... Oh, oh no, I can't. Goodbye. I must see you. I don't know. Maybe someday. When? Tomorrow? Oh, no. This evening. At the cottage in the Glen. What was that? Aurora's memory. She must have gotten her heart back. So her dream came true? Yes, not long ago. Dreams are very strong beliefs. Aurora's led her to her true love. I see you hold strong beliefs too, don't you, dear? Yep. You also have a strong light. Hmm. All right, hurry. We can't stay here. What's that? I think I'd better go take a look inside.
Someone has released Aurora's heart. Tell me, child, was it you? Maleficent! Only because you stole it in the first place! A Keyblade? You must be Ventus. Huh? How do you know about me and the Keyblade? My powers ensure I'd know of the key to bringing me hearts. Terra gave me a demonstration. Huh? Terra? He was here? Why, yes. In fact, it was he who stole Princess Aurora's heart. That's a lie! I was asked to leave you unharmed, but it seems I have no choice! There's no way Terra would hurt somebody like that. You don't believe me? That's unfortunate, for he agreed so easily. He did? Ven, don't be fooled! Huh? Aqua! Terra would never do that. You know that as well as I do. Yeah. Ah. The truth can be most cruel, even amongst the closest of friends. After all, one never knows the secrets of another's heart. I'm sure you'll agree, Ventus. Aqua. <sighs> the Master sent me. Huh? Then, let's go home. But Terra... Terra's not ready to leave yet. Like, like right, right now, now, he's leaving you behind. And by the by time you catch up, up, he'll be a different person. <sighs> Sorry, Aqua. But I can't go with you. What? It's just... I have to find him before it's too late. Then I see you too <sighs> wield a Keyblade. How do you know about the Keyblade? A source of power. A key that opens the hearts of men, of entire worlds, and allows one to obtain anything and everything. Such a power I find most fascinating. So, Terra... He really? Yes. Now, my dear, would you like to assist me as well? Never! I see. Xehanort was right. You are a most stubborn girl. Master Xehanort, how do you... It seems you need time to consider my offer. Fortunately, I have the perfect place. What? Ah! <sighs> Tara, where are you? Who are you? My name is Aqua. It looks like I was caught in a trap. Why are you here? To prevent me from breaking her evil curse, I was to meet the most beautiful girl at a cottage in the Glen. But now my true love lies in an eternal slumber, and only I can break the spell. You must really love her. Is what you said true? Yes. Maleficent told me. Oh, Prince Philip, it's you! Now, Philip, the road to true love may be barred by many more dangers, which you alone will have to face. I'm going with you. There's something I need to know, and Maleficent has the answer. Yes, of course, dear. Now come along. We must hurry to Aurora.
fairest of thorns shall be your tomb. Wound round the castle in a bower of doom! Maleficent, what did Master Xehanort tell you? Such a pity, child, that you don't have Terra's gift for obedience. Nor can you see how easy it was for him. Terra would never do anything to help you! Quite the contrary. He fully embraced the darkness within himself. Stop lying! See for yourself all the powers of hell! <sighs> Swift and sure that evil die and good endure. It's the power of true love that defeated you. I will not be defeated by something as insignificant as love. You don't even know the first thing about it. You're too clouded by darkness to see that there's something greater. Try all you want, but you'll never defeat a heart filled with light. Perhaps. But remember one thing. As long as there is light, there will be darkness. And in time, many more will be drawn to it. And they will all belong to me! <laughs> Tara, you better stay strong for me. Where's he hiding? Uh. <gasps> All right. What did you mean about Terra being a different person? Exactly what I said, idiot. The Terra you know will be gone forever. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Stupid or true? Uh. A Keyblade? Good. Let's see what you're made of. <laughs> that really all you got? Man, you are worthless. I'd be going against the Master's orders, but so what? As far as I'm concerned, your job here is done. Oh, what? 
worry, you're safe! are not something you use just to bully somebody around. Here, I'll show ya. We both will. Huh? Hmm. Yeah. Huh. You win. Consider yourself on probation. <sighs> probation? For what? Thanks for before. I owe you. The name's Ventus. What's yours? I'm Mickey! I see you've got a Keyblade. Yup! I've been training under the great Yun Sid. He found out the worlds are in trouble, and I sort of took off without telling him. Well, that makes both of us. I ran off too. All I have to do is think it, and the Star Shard will take me anywhere I want to go. At least I thought it would. I haven't quite got the fine points down like... When or where. It just kind of kicks in whenever it wants to. But I wouldn't have met you if it hadn't brought me here. <laughs> you know, it might not be an accident. Maybe it starts working because it's reacting to something. Hmm? Huh? Whoa! Where's he going? First, this can only mean Master Zaynor was right. Mm -hmm. What's Master Zaynor doing here? Maybe he found something out.
Hold on. The castle is presently closed. But somebody just came this way. He's a friend of mine. We aren't aware of any visitors. Now run along home, boy, before the monsters get you. I could have sworn it was him. Huh? They're here! Radiant Garden shall not fall under the likes of you. Yeah. Leave this to me! Yeah. Stop! <laughs> but you're just a child! Uh. <sighs> Now, who do you think will defend the castle huh? if you two huh? go skipping off? But... that boy... Never you worry about him. He's a special case. A what? Evan is right. Lord and castle come first. The boy will have to fend for himself. Which reminds me, his lordship was asking for you. A heart devoid of darkness, stripped clean of it at that. Very questionable. <laughs> Why can't I ever seem to remember this address exactly? Excuse me, Your Holiness. Huh? I believe you dropped this book. Did I? Oh, uh, I'm very sad to say this isn't one of mine, but what a remarkable book it is. This unassuming volume seems to have the unusual effect of awakening one's innermost abilities. A book that makes people stronger? If it's all right, Your Elderness, might I have a closer look? The name is Merlin. I'm a powerful wizard, and I'll have you know a lot of wisdom comes with age. Anyway, as I said, the book is not mine, but I'd be happy to keep it here for you. Thank you, Merlin. Back off, you fiend! <laughs> You'll not be getting my money! Uh, look out! I, I will! <laughs> Hold on. Wait a moment, laddie. Uh, don't I even get a chance to repair you? Oh, you don't have to. <laughs> now just hold your horses. I didn't mean my fortune. Maybe a wee bit of gold, uh, or a small token of... Well, could you make it fast? I know. I've just the thing in my hat. Hmm? <laughs> Come here. Huh? You can tell me, lad, you came here from another world, didn't you? <laughs> Don't worry. My bill is sealed. Your secret's safe with me. I'm not be asking you any awkward questions. You see, it is the same with me. I asked a wizard named Merlin to bring me here from another world. After all, adventure is the mother of industry, eh? Eh? Great! That all? Ugh, but I'm holding you up, lad, eh? Here, these are lifetime passes to Disney Town. You love buckets of fun there. For my name is not Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> there you are. Enough for you and two grown-ups. Huh. huh. <laughs> Hang it all! Can't I get a moment's peace? <laughs> Mister, get inside. It's not safe out here. Oh, ordering me about. Now that's unsafe. 
After all, I'm Merlin, the wizard. Oh, another scamp looking to wake the powers inside him. Is that it? What? How'd you know? <laughs> we wizards have a knack for knowing such things. The book is inside on the table. You may have a gander if you like. What book? Excuse me. I'm terribly sorry to bother you, sir. Oh, <laughs> what a well-mannered lass you are. Uh, I'd be pleased as punch to help you, if I can. I'm looking for a boy who's not from around here. Have you seen him? Hmm, I think I know just who you're talking about. He scampered off toward yon castle in a right hurry. Thank you so much. Oh. Tara, I hope you're still there. Blade. I'll tell you later. Right now, we gotta stop these things. Uh. <sighs> mm. huh? uh. Everything all right? <clears throat> Let's get them. Right. Thank you. My name is Aqua. I train under Master Ericus. And I'm Mickey! I used to be Yen Sid's apprentice. I came back to him for some more training. I sense light within this girl. You think that's why they attacked her? Yep. I think you might be absolutely right. If you ask me, she must be somebody pretty extraordinary. Yes, I'm quite certain she's someone we're supposed to protect. Let's join forces! Oh no! Not now! I'll be okay! See you real soon! Here! Are these for me? I picked you some flowers. Thank you for saving me. Oh, they're lovely. You're so sweet. My name's Kyrie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Aqua. Kyrie, about that light. Kyrie! Oh. Oh, Grandma! Wait, Kyrie, just a minute. I just cast a magic spell on you. One day when you're in trouble, the light within you will lead you to the light of another. Someone to keep you safe. Thanks! <laughs> there you are. <laughs> it's time to go. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Bye! <laughs> hey! Grandma? Hmm? What is it? Could you tell me that story? <laughs> Again, dear? Please. <laughs> Very well, then. <laughs> Long ago, people lived in peace, 
bathed in the warmth of light. Everyone loved the light. Then people began to fight over it. They wanted to keep it for themselves, and darkness was born in their hearts. The darkness spread, swallowing the light in many people's hearts. It covered everything, and the world disappeared. But small fragments of light survived in the hearts of children. <laughs> With these fragments of light, children rebuilt the lost world. It's the world we live in now. But the true light sleeps deep within the darkness. That's why the worlds are still scattered, divided from each other. But someday, a door to the innermost darkness will open, and the true light will return. So listen, child, even in the deepest darkness, there will always be a light to guide you. Believe in the light, and the darkness will never defeat you. Your heart will shine with its power and push the darkness away. Mm-hmm. Kairi, something tells me I didn't run into her by accident. <sighs> Unversed, it never ends! Over there! Then? Red, Terra! Aqua! <laughs> <laughs> Got him. We make a good team. Sure do. Oh yeah, I got you these tickets. For what? Lifetime passes to Disney Town. He said to... He said to take two grown-ups. You mean us? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, Van. We need to get you home. It's okay, Aqua. Trust me, that Kai in the mask is history. I'll never badmouth Terra again. <laughs> you saw the boy in the mask? Uh, he... Yes? Venetus. Ven. You let Aqua take you home. No way! I want to go with you guys. You can't. We have a dangerous task ahead of us. I don't want you to get hurt. And what is this dangerous task, Terra? It doesn't sound like what the Master told you to do. It might be a different route, but I'm fighting the darkness. I'm not so sure. I've been to the same worlds as you, and I've seen what you've done. You shouldn't put yourself so close to the darkness. <laughs> Listen to yourself, Aqua. Terra would never- You mean you've been spying on me? Is that what he said to do? The Master's orders? He was only... Aqua? I get it. Terra! Just stay put! <laughs> I'm on my own now, alright? Terra, please, listen! 
The Master has no reason to distrust you, really. He was just worried. You're awful, Aqua. So now you know the truth. But the Master loves Terra. And you know that too. Were you also ordered to take me home? <sighs> Aqua, now that you're a Keyblade Master, you've let it go to your head. I'm gonna go find Terra. <sighs> Enzo, where are you? Answer me! Ah, there you are. Didn't I warn you not to wander off, child? I see we owe you our thanks. We have done our best to raise the boy, since his poor parents are not here to do it. Oh. You're on your own, huh? Sir... I'm looking for a friend of mine. He's a tall guy dressed kind of like me. Have you seen him? Hmm. Perhaps I did see him in the outer gardens. Just follow this road. Thank you. No, thank you for keeping Yenso out of harm's way. And, well, let's say, I have a feeling we are destined to cross paths again. Just as I said it would happen, here's the third one. That book is almost more trouble than it's worth. Uh, uh, Say no more. The book you need to awaken the powers within you is just inside. Read to your heart's content, my dear. I'm the third? Terra and Ventus were here? Master Xehanort is the only one I can still count on. You must be Terra. It's that old coot. He won't stop asking for you. I came all the way out here to get you, just so he'd clam up. What do you mean? Ha! Do I have to spell it out? Xehanort, whatever he's called. You know, my prisoner. <laughs> You're apparently not a very good liar. Master Xehanort would never let himself be caught by a thug like you. As if. I got the old coot at my mercy. See for yourself. I'm holding him underneath the outer gardens. You better show up before I lose my patience. Ciao. There's no way it's true. But no harm in looking. Master Xehanort! The old coot certainly knows how to take punishment. Just like I know how to deal it out. You monster! What are you after? That thing right there. 
It's called the Keyblade, isn't it? Yep. Seems like these days everybody's got one of those. Even Grandpa there. When I nabbed him, he told me all about it. What a weapon like that can do. How could I not want one? Well, you'll find they're picky about their owners. Ha. <laughs> if I heard the old guy right, you're what they call Keyblade Master Material. So if I defeat you, that makes me the real Keyslinger. If you catch my drift. Not the most polite way to go about it. But what can you do? Uh, uh, one more step and the coot goes boom. You think I'm gonna fight fair? As if. That key's too powerful for us to go mano a mano. <laughs> for a Keyblade Master, you're not very... What's the word? Good? <laughs> what are you doing, Tara? Fight! But Master, you'll... Never mind me! You must fight! You can't let this ruffian win! Think of your master, Ericus! The shame he and your fellow pupils would be forced to bear! Use the Keyblade! So much for the bluff. Done, Terra. You have taken yet another step forward. But I was consumed by anger. Hatred. That was the power of darkness. Darkness that you channeled. No. I succumbed to it. Just like when I stole Princess Aurora's heart of light. I can never return home now. I'm a failure. Then don't. You could be my pupil. <laughs> Master Ericus, you see, is so afraid of darkness that he too has succumbed. Not to darkness, but to light. It shines so bright, he forgets that light begets darkness. And Aqua and Ventus, their lights shine too bright. It is only natural that they cast shadows on your heart. Ericus, you're such a fool. Light and darkness, they are a balance. One that must always be maintained. Terra, you are the one who shows the true mark of mastery. But he refuses to see it. And I know why. It is because he fears you. Join me. You and I can do the world's much greater good. By wielding light and darkness in equal shares. Master Xehanort. See more worlds. Seek out the darkness that upsets the balance. Find Vanitas and bring an end to him. Master Terra.
Take me with you. I can't do that, Ven. Uh, why not? I just... When I really need you, Ven, I know you'll be there. <laughs> well, why wouldn't I? You're my friend. Yeah. You're right. Thanks, Ven. I just... When I really need you, Ven, I know you'll be there. Oh. I better tell Aqua. A mask? You're the boy that Ventus mentioned. Ah, yes. Ventus. Tell me something. Has he learned to put up a decent fight yet? What do you mean? I'll be asking the questions. And why shouldn't I? After all, between the two of us, I'm the only one who'll walk away from here alive. Guess again! Who are you? <laughs> Not bad at all. Congratulations. I'll keep you around. Never hurts to have a backup. I have to stop him before anything else happens to Terra and Ven. Aqua! Ven! Were you able to find him? Yeah, but... he's gone. Right. Then I can't stay here. Let me go with you, Aqua. No, Ven. Do as I say and go home. Uh, why won't you let me? I don't want to put you in harm's way. You understand? Given up already? Come on, Ven. I thought you were stronger than that. Ven, you almost had him. Just try it again. Hey, wait. You're teaming up now? Ben, you see all those dents and mix you got? Each one of those is proof you're learning. You're trying too hard to move your body. You need to learn to let your body move you. Right? <clears throat> In your hand, take this blade. And so long as you have the makings, then through this simple act of taking, its wielder you shall one day be made. 
<laughs> What's that about? Who went and made you master? Being a Keyblade Master is all I've dreamed about. Well, you're not the only one. I know. You, me, and Ven all share the same dream. This yours? Lee, we don't have time for this. Lighten up, Isa. It'll only take a sec. You still play with toy swords? That's cute. Mm. Now this right here... Ta-da! What do you think? Not a whole lot. You're just jealous. I'm Lee. Got it memorized? What's your name? Ventus. Okay, Ventus, let's fight. Fight? Why would I want to do that? You scared of losing? Come on. <laughs> Hope you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now we're talking. You're gonna be sorry. You had enough? Cause I'm willing to call it a draw if you are. Huh? <laughs> right. From where I stood, the only thing you drew was a big L on your forehead for loser, lame, laughable. What? Isn't this the part where you cheer me up or something? You're just having a bad day, or that's what you get for pulling your punches. <sighs> Some friend. Oh. You mean I was supposed to lie? You see what I gotta put up with? Sure hope you don't have friends like him. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Lee, we have to go. Okay. Already? I'll see you when I see you. After all, we're friends now. <laughs> Get it memorized. Okay, Lee. What is it with you and picking up stray puppies? I want everybody I meet to remember me. Inside people's memories, I can live forever. I know I won't forget you. Believe me, I try all the time. See, I'm immortal. You're obnoxious. You ready? Well, I can tell you are. Must be nice. <laughs> Knowing who your friends are. Huh? Unburst! I'll take you on. Look out! Huh? <sighs> and thanks for piping up back there. I mean it. 
The name's Tara. It's nice to meet you, Tara. What are you nuts, running out onto the course like that? Yeah, that's against the rules. I'm sure you had your reasons, but I can't say that I approve either. Well, rules don't apply when you're up against the unversed. Rules don't apply? You sound just like Pete. Look, it's Captain Dark. Disguised in shadows, the rogue racer reigns. I am Captain Dark. And you must be the chump who made me miss a new track record. Hold on, how's come I don't know you? Somebody bringing in a ringer? Ah, I'm not even a racer. Must be downright temptatious to try and stop a primo racer like me from getting a record, but we all gotta play by the rules, rookie. Now, just a second. You're the no-good cheater who's always breaking the rules. Well, I can't say racing interests me, but I need to defeat the unversed. Tell me what I've got to do. Are you talking about all those carts that look like scary, ugly monsters? Hmm. Hmm. Well, we've only ever seen the monsters on the track. That's it! Tara, you just need to enter the races. And while you're at it, take that Captain Dark down a notch or two. He's always breaking the rules and causing trouble. I have to become a racer? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now I'm sure I don't have to tell you. I know. I'll play by the rules. Oh. Yay! Terror's gonna be a new racer! Just come talk to me whenever you're ready. I'll get you signed up and everything! My cart must have sprung a spring. You yahoos just wait. Next time I'll clobber all of you. Yippee! I hope he's gone for good. Nobody's gonna vote for a weasel like you, Pete. Pete? Vote? What are you talking about? Chip means the Million Dreams Award. It's a very popular part of our dream festival. Everyone in town votes for who we think is the most exemplary citizen. And since everybody knows how much of a troublemaker Pete is, he probably figured wearing a disguise was the only way he'd get any votes. No votes, no prize. Yeah, the prize is all he really wants anyway. He doesn't care about being a good citizen. Oh, I think that's very sad. The award is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. Well, one thing I know for sure, I'm voting for Tara. Your racing really saved the day against those monster carts. Hip hip hooray for Tara! <laughs> well, I got something out of it too. I learned that you don't always have to bend the rules to reach your goals. <laughs> All this time, I've been staring into the darkness. But... That doesn't mean I have to jump in. It's relentless. Hey, what you doing there? Ah, I told you, I'm book solid. N O spells forget it. Uh, what? And who in heliconosis are you? Can't you see I'm busy? Hey, Phil! I'm all signed up! Phil! Alright, Eric, I hear you. Now would you keep it down already? Aha! <laughs> Beautiful. You happy now? You blew my cover. <laughs> okay. Fess up. I asked around and everybody says you're the guy. The trainer of heroes. True heroes? Really? You can teach that? 
course he can. Come on, Phil, please. I really want to be a hero. Look, we've been through this. I got two words for you. Student, teacher, ratio. One, two, one. I already got my hands full with this one. Come on, Herc. I'm low maintenance, I swear. <laughs> Unburst. Monsters, huh? Hey, Phil, watch this. I'll show you what I'm made of. And I'll help, too. Okay, change of plans. <laughs> the games are coming up. So I'm gonna watch both of your matches, then I'll decide which of you rookies I wanna train. Sweet! Thank you, thank you! I'm gonna go sign up right now! The games, huh? Sounds fun! Sorry, kid. Captain Eager there just took the last spot. I don't understand. Phil, I, I thought you were my trainer. You wanna be a true hero, Herc? Then you're gonna have to go out there and show me that everything I taught you so far is gonna pay off. But, Phil... Oh, and no more training sessions for a while. Wouldn't be fair if I helped you and not him. Hey, cheer up. So you gotta fight a couple of matches, no big deal. I'm Ventus. You want me to help you train? You'd really do that for me? Sure. Thanks, Ventus. I'm Hercules. Herc for short. Just call me Ven. You're gonna do fine. Thanks. I'm gonna head over to the Colosseum and warm up. Meet me in the vestibule, okay? You want to become a true hero, huh? More than anything. See, my father is Zeus, the king of the gods, up on Olympus. Whoa! Herc, you're a god? No, no, I'm mortal. When I was a baby, somebody stole me from my parents and figured out how to take away my godhood. And this true hero thing? It's the only way I can become a god again. If I become a true hero, I can rejoin my father and go back to Olympus. Wow. I guess you really got your work cut out for you. But what about you? How come you're here? Uh, I'm... I'm just trying to make some friends. Well, hey, you've done that already. Huh? Come on, we're friends, aren't we? You bet, Herc. All right, you bunch of rookies. It's time we go over the rules of the game, so listen up. All the matches are divided into two brackets, one for the East and one for the West. The winners from each bracket go head-to-head -head in the championship match. Now, I signed you two up for the West, because they already got a heavy hitting contender cleaning up over there in the East bracket. And if you want to beat them, you're gonna have to hustle in there. Now move those sandals. Heavy hitting contender. Ven, come on. Uh, okay. Guess we made it. Yeah, and it's all thanks to you, Ven. Good. The other kid will be happy to hear that. No, I need you most of all, Phil. How else am I going to become a hero? Huh, <laughs> about time you got it. Whoever wins, no hard feelings. Of course not. Holding a grudge wouldn't be very heroic. Hey, just making sure. You're not a hero yet. <laughs> True. This is really close. Hey, 
we got trouble. There's monsters loose in town, and if they gate crash the games, you can forget about the match. Real monsters? We have to stop them. Leave the monsters to me. This match is too important. You won't get past me! Huh? Herc! What about your match? Forget the match. No way I could let my friend fight alone, because I'm a hero. I mean, you know, I'm gonna be one. Come on, let's finish this together. Sorry that I made you lose that match, Herc. Ah, oh, come on. You don't have to apologize. It was totally my decision. Ugh. What? You didn't <sighs> save any for me? Hey, you're here. Hey, I've set my sights on being a hero, too. I just don't run as fast, that's all. So you both threw the match? Who won, then? I left first, so it's not me. Yeah, but I was only seconds behind you. Still. Hey, I never said huh? I coached hmm? a winner. All I said was I'd see the match, then decide. Look, being a hero takes more than just muscle. You gotta have heart and care about people. And sure, you both get high marks for that. But this time, only one of you cared fast enough, and that makes all the difference. Then that means... Oh, man! I was this close! <sighs> well, that's life. I never really introduced myself. The name's Zack. Congratulations, Herc. Thanks, Zack. Yeah, well, we'll see if you're still thanking him when I'm through with you. You got a long road ahead of you, champ. Hey, don't count me out. I've still got plenty of big dreams to go with my lousy luck. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, be honest. You weren't really gonna stop training Herc, were you? Ah, of course not. I know that kid's gonna go the distance, but he was stuck in a rut. He just needed a little... incentive. It's, uh, Ventus, right? Well, thanks to you, Herc here is really shaped up. I owe you. Nah, I'm glad. I made a really good friend. Somebody to share a laugh with. Like Terra and Aqua. We'll patch things up. You're leaving? Yeah. My journey's not over yet. But you'll visit, right? I'll stop by once you're a true hero. Stop by once me and him are both heroes. Oh. So you mean never come back? Hey, watch it! Stay back. You okay? Huh? Yeah, thanks. <sighs> Guess they were too much for me. I'm just gonna have to train harder. You're pretty tough. It really handled those things. Are you here to enter the games? What games? The games games. To see who's strongest. One day, I'm gonna win them all and become a true hero. Herc! Where are you? Front and center right now, or I'm tacking on another thousand laps. Uh-oh. Gotta go. The Coliseum's just up ahead. I, I hope I get to see you fight there sometime! A competition. Hmm. I should find out how strong I really am.
Jeez Louise, one chump after another. It's like a who's who of decathlon disasters around here. All I need is one measly warrior tough enough to give Zeus a jolt of his own medicine. Wait. Dark, moody, powerful? Yes, he's perfect. This is it. How sad is this? Huh? Mm, pains me to see it. All that power going to waste. Who are you? Name is Hades, Lord of the Dead, God of the Underworld, yada yada, how you done? Hey, let me guess. You're trying to put the kibosh on the darkness inside you. Am I right? Of course I'm right. Well, anyway, bad idea. Wait, what? Okay, stay with me. Darkness is inside everybody. Nothing to be ashamed of. You play nice with it, and darkness will be your best friend. But if you go and get all self-conscious and refuse to face it, the darkness will run over you like a debutante at a toga sale. And then where are you? Nowhere! Now me, I look at you, and I see potential. That's right, kid. You got the potential to conquer the darkness inside you. And I'll even give you some pointers. I mean, believe me, if anybody knows conquering, I know conquering. Well, let's hear it then. How do I conquer the darkness? Easy. You sign up for the games. I know, I know. Please, Lord Hades, the games. But hey, you would be surprised what you can learn in the heat of battle. And don't worry, I'll be right there to guide you every step of the way. I'm kind of what you'd call an expert in the art of darkness. Oh, decide fast. This is a limited time offer. When are you going to tell me how to conquer the darkness? Hold your chariot horses. You would not believe the bureaucracy involved with these things. Name? Terra. Kind of earthy, but all right. Now, height and weight. What's this? Favorite god? <laughs> Come on, Hades. There, ba-boom. Easy peasy. I sense that you're already starting to get all warm and fuzzy with that darkness inside you. It's sweet, really. And hey, by the time you win the final match here, you'll have figured out how to conquer it for good. And don't worry, anything goes wrong, I'll make it all go away. Service with a smile. I got it. Okay, this is not what I had in mind. Uh, but hey, I can improvise. Time for Plan Beta. Pardon me, uh. coming through. I'm gonna miss my match. Hello, Plan Beta. Hey, kid! Huh? Over here. Come here. Once I've conquered the darkness in my heart, I'll never have to fear it again. Like my new super warrior, see, right here, this, it's the power of darkness. Could have been yours, still could, if you open up to it. Hades! You were just playing me! The darkness will never have me! Help me. You've gotta... Sit 
my heart free. Forget it. It looks like I bet on the wrong dark horse. That kid doesn't have what it takes to handle darkness. You gonna make it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm finally free. Where is... He's gone. Man, how can I let a guy like him control me? I'll never live it down. <laughs> Thanks. Um... Tara. Thanks, Tara. I'm Zack. Hmm... Yep. Definitely. Tara, you're exactly what I pictured a hero would be. Not the way you look. There's something else about you. Well, I'm no hero. Trust me. Are you kidding? Listen to those cheers, man. You don't get to decide if you're a hero or not. They do. And they've already made up their mind. Whether you like it or not, you're their hero. <laughs> and mine, too. It's too bad. I really wanted to fight you fair and square. Maybe someday, Zack. <laughs> Cheeks, I'll take care of this. Hurt the royals! Oi, those wackos almost made euros out of it. Well, maybe if you weren't trying to show off. Who asked you, kid? You'll understand more when you're older. <sighs> and stronger. Strong enough to be a hero. You think being strong is the same as being a hero? Sure. Mostly. Look how strong Terra is, and he's champion. Terra. So, sugar cakes. You got any plans for later? You know, I trained a few heroes in my time. Maybe I could recite your little epic poetry. Do you really know Terra? Of course I do. He's the local hero everybody's going gaga for. Oh, now I get it. You're one of his fans. Everywhere I go, it's Terra this, Terra that. More like Terra Bull. Oh, no. You see, I just want to track him down. Yeah. Tell me about it, sister. You and the rest of Greece. Kid shows up out of nowhere, goes and wins the first games he ever enters, dazzling the whole town, and then the nudnik up and vanishes. Everybody says Terra's the real thing. A true hero. I can't wait till I'm that tough. Right. He's so tough, he turned the last Shlemiel who faced him into a raving Yahweh. Come on, Phil. Be nice. So you're telling me he isn't here? Whoa, not so fast. He may not be here right now, but you never know. He could always decide he's going to show up for the games. Yeah, to defend his title. And if you enter, there's always a chance you might run into him. I got an idea. I'll sign you up myself. And if you need a trainer, I'd be more than happy to put you through the ropes. But Phil, I had to practically beg you to agree to train me. Shh, pipe down, kid. You and she ain't got the same attributes, if you know what I mean. You know, you're right. Please sign me up for the games. My name is Aqua. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Now, let's start with a few basics. Thanks, I won't need a trainer. Nah, women. 
never changes. So I suppose you still want me to go and get you signed up. Meet me in a vestibule when you're ready. All that's left is the final, and still no sign of Terra. The guy I'm supposed to fight is someone else named Zack. Aqua, what? right? Hey, I'm Zack, your opponent in the final. Man, finally! Once I beat you, I get to take on Terra! Terra? Why, I don't understand. Are you saying there's another match after the final? Uh-oh. Guess you didn't get the memo. Oh, Phil, would you tell her the rules? <clears throat> Fine. Here's how it is. The games are divided into two brackets. You got your East, you got your West. The winners from each bracket face off in a championship match. Now, right now, you are competing in the East, and we got no idea about the other side. For all we know, your boy Terra could be cruising through over in the West. Then I shouldn't be fighting matches here. I should be over there, looking for him. No, you, uh, can't. It's not allowed. Athletes are expressly forbidden from watching matches in the other bracket. Did he just make that up? How should I know? All right, fine. Look, you gotta just stay and fight this match. The two athletes I entered defaulted before they made it to the top. Give a guy a break. I got a reputation. Uh, uh, hey, do it for us too? All right, then. I'll finish what I started. You will? <laughs> oh, the gods are smiling on me today. I'll be waiting for you in the vestibule. Just tell me when you're ready to go. A match between Zack and Aqua? This I can't miss. Ixnay on the action way. You got training to complete. Oh, that's right. Well, good luck, guys. I'll see you around. Aqua, give it your best out there. You too. I am so fired up. Zack, mm. Tara is a friend of mine. How exactly is it that you know him? He saved my life. During the last games, this dude named Hades tried to make Tara his pawn of darkness. And he used me to do it. He had some kind of magic or something that made me crazy. Gave me weird powers that I turned against. Terra. Uh. But you know what? Terra freed me. And he didn't need the darkness to do it. I had no idea. Well, that's enough with the drama. I guess I'll see you in the ring, huh? Terra. I promised Terra I'd face him, fair and square. The friendship between boys, it almost makes me jealous. Let's fight! Oh, I lost! <clears throat> I've got a long ways to go if I'm gonna become a hero. <sighs> really? It's you? Here I thought I'd drop in to see which muscle head was up next, <laughs> and... Holy Hydras, it's just a little girl, a little lassie, a little bluebird. <laughs> Hades! <sighs> I'm sorry, is that a mosquito? Where did I put that bug spray? Mosquito? So you're Hades. You use Zack and try to cast Terra into the darkness. So, I take it you're acquainted with the spineless chicken heart. Terra is my friend, and I hear he triumphs over the darkness. He's not spineless. <laughs> Funny, you know, because I heard different. <sighs> you see, it was Chickenheart who asked me for a little, shall we say, instruction on how to use darkness in the first place. Never! And he was so close to doing it, too, when the sap went and got cold feet! Now, if that ain't cowardly, I don't know what is. But you, my little bluebird, why not flit over here and demonstrate some real courage for the winning team? The darkness doesn't interest me. Well, that was rude. A no thank you, your godliness, might have sufficed. Fortunately, I still get to <clears throat> destroy you. Rules say you face me next. 
And I have a whole lot of darkness with your name on it. <laughs> Get back here, Hades! <laughs> Man, if only I were up against him. Aqua! You gotta avenge me and Terra! I will. Never said one on one. No fair, Hades! I suppose that's in the rules. Rule number two combatants may call for backup. Maybe you better call yours, Bluebird. He's already here! <laughs> Don't, Doc. Uh... Oh. I can do this on my own. That snow cone wouldn't cut it. I need a real titan. <laughs> Stay tuned! Stupid Hades. Next time I'll put him in his place. Oh, oh yeah, you're the champ. We gotta celebrate. Huh? That won't really be necessary. Hmm. Hey, how about one date? <sighs> oh, you mean, no, I have to leave right away. Besides, I still have so much training to do. Fair enough. And I'm still a work in progress, after all. Huh? Well, how about this? I become a hero, then we go on a date. I... I can't make any promises. Yes! Great, it's settled. Herohood, here I come. <laughs> oh, it's over already? And I finished today's training in record time. Uh, Aqua, what's wrong? Your face is red. Uh, uh, nothing, nothing. You want to be a hero too, right? Strength alone won't make you into one. Uh, I know, I know. Strength alone won't make me a true hero. I'm starting to figure that out. I look at you and Zack, and I can tell there's something more. You've got strength in your heart, too. Never stop trying. And one day you might just become a true hero after all. Tara, you too. Keep fighting. In the mask of peace and hope comes the fearless defender and hero of this town. It is me, Captain Giastes. Uh, um. Young fellow, do my hero senses detect that you got troubles? Just say the word, and Captain Justice will make all your problems disappear. Uh, uh, who, who, me? Well, I'm just trying to make some friends. Never mind. Forget it. Don't be intimidated by my magnificence. Go on and spit it out. Then remember to vote Captain J. Vote? No, oh, well, uh, forget that. How can I help? That's the only reason I'm here. Hmm. I know. Tell me about your town. Everything's so festive. Is it always like this? Huh? That's it? Nothing else? 
Well, the festivities are on account of the Dream Festival, which is why I made sure there's carnival stuff all over town. Really? Like what? Oh, you gotta see it for yourself. Wouldn't be much of a dream if I just told you. Right. Thanks. And kid, don't you go forgetting. Captain Justice is the one who solved all your problems. That would be Justice with a J. Uh, sure. I got it, Captain Justice. Ah, oh, Lily, this stinks. Now we can't open the ice cream shop. Trouble? Rescue is on the way. A festival, huh? Well, maybe I can make some new friends. Well, if it ain't the last kid Captain Justice saved, afraid you'll have to get in line. I'm working on another catastrophe here for these fellas. Huey, Dewey, and Louie, my good friends. Now, I'd hardly call it a catastrophe. Yeah, all we were trying to do was make our own special recipe ice cream. And we had a little trouble. Come on, it's not really that big a deal. I'm 100% positive you're the victims of sabotage. Not even close. Quit making stuff up. It's just the ice cream machine. Uncle Scrooge left it for us, but we can't figure out how it works because it's so complicated. Oh, we're sorry, Queen Minnie. We wanted you to be the first to try our special recipe ice cream. Oh, boys, it was very sweet of you to think of me. We tried. Say no more, leave it to me. One bowl of ice cream coming right up. You're just going to make a mess. Leave it alone, Pete. That's Captain Justice! Ooh, this machine is busted! It just needs a good pounding! It does not! Hey, do you think I could give it a shot? No, if Captain Justice can't fix it, there ain't nothing you can do, kid. Maybe not, but there's no harm in trying. Yeah, and better you than him! Here you go! These are the directions for the machine. Mmm, how yummy! What a wonderful treat! I don't think I've ever had such delicious ice cream. Thank you. Uh, oh, oh dear. Uh, oh, Ventus. Just Ven is fine. Well, thank you, Ventus. Way to go, Van! I see! We had to push this thingamajig the other way! Hey, I just got an idea! We could let our customers make up their own favorite flavors of ice cream! Not with that machine! Well, the kid might have got it to work this one time, but junk like that needs to get jumped! Don't you dare, no. Pete! Fine, but Captain Justice will return! About Captain Justice. You said his name is Pete? Yeah, he's the biggest troublemaker in town. I bet he's just calling himself Captain Justice because he wants to win the Million Dreams Award. What's the Million Dreams Award? That's one of the Dream Festival events. Everyone votes for who they think is the town's most exemplary citizen. I get it. So that's what he meant by vote. And if you win the award, you get a really cool prize. Oh, it's just a small token, nothing elaborate. The event is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. That's the spirit of the award. Well, that sounds nice enough. He just wants to get his grubby hands on the prize. And he knows that nobody's gonna vote for him if he puts his own name on the ballot. But nobody's fooled. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Wish somebody was looking out for me. Hmm? Oh. 
all the way out here? Is he the one? Yes, Grand Councilwoman. I've confined him until we can determine what he is. <laughs> Take cover! Leave it to me to handle these fiends. Whatever you are, you're under arrest! Eventually. Unversed. I'll give you a fight. <sighs> Very impressive display. Wait! You help! I have been imprisoned on ridiculous charges. Is that so? I am innocent scientist to create the galaxy's most destructive, <laughs> constructive species of all time. Why, my experiment could annihilate creatures you fought so hard. He is bulletproof, fireproof, and can think faster than supercomputer. He can see in the dark and move objects 3,000 times his rather diminutive size. And for reasons preposterous, the Federation Council fears him. They take him away from me and throw me here in small, stuffy, rather badly lit cell. Because he's so powerful? Exactly. Everyone always gets antsy and pantses when somebody more powerful is in the neighborhood. You understand, perhaps? We must make to rescue him or he'll be banished to far reaches of space. Hmm. Okay, then. Take me to him. Experiment 626. Mm -hmm. His name I give to adorable fluffy creature you're helping for to rescue. And I am genius scientist who created him, Dr. Jumba Jokiba. I'm Terra. Pleasure is all ours. 626 is this way. Hurry! Amazing, is it not? Such tremendous power in such itty bitty package. Truly, he's the one, and that's the old way. The mightiest creature in all of galaxy, and his only singular instinct to destroy everything he touches. What? When did you... give that back? Too late. It's already marked for destruction. No, stop! My friend gave me that! <sighs> oh. Friend! Are you joking? <laughs> Such concept is totally lost on 626. <laughs> Oh. 
funny. This whole time I've been telling myself I want to be stronger, more independent. But the second I let my heart do the talking, I find out how little I really know myself and how much I miss them. That experiment of yours, you sure about him? Maybe in his heart he wants friends, just like the rest of us. Impossible, Pesce! He has no actual feelings, only destructive instincts I have carefully chosen for him. Or perhaps you need another demonstration of my evil geniusness. <laughs> Oh, you'll be all right, little one. Huh? What is it? Why have you returned? Maybe he's wondering what a friend is. Ridiculous! My name is Terra. Terra. Yes. I can't explain friendship. When you feel it, you'll know it. Not if I have any say in matter. You are only meant to think about what it is you will destroy next. Now, I fix what is wrong with you. Red alert! Red alert! Experiment 626 and two prisoners have escaped from the cell bay. Security, locate the fugitives immediately. Repeat, experiment 626. Well, we can't stay here and get caught. Ven? Aqua? I'll find some way to make things right. Is there any world they haven't found? This looks like the Wayfinders, but how did it get here? <laughs> Tell me, where did you get that? You little trog! Wait! You there! Has Experiment 626 passed through this area? I don't understand. Experiment what? Don't be dense. Dr. Jumbo Jukiba's genetic abomination. 626. Small, blue, vicious. Him? But he didn't look vicious. Ah, so you have seen him? Yes. He's in the ventilation system. Blast! He got away again! Hold it right there. Why don't I know you? What section are you from? Um... I'm... Trying to stow away, are we? I said stay close. What is the meaning of this? Captain Gantu, did I not order you to apprehend the fugitives immediately? Yes, and I will have them in custody soon. They'd be locked up already if those wretched monsters were just... I mean, if I hadn't uncovered this potential stowaway. I wasn't trying to sneak on board. My name is Aqua. 
And those monsters? I followed them here. Please, I can handle this threat. Just give me a chance. Let me show you. The weapon I carry is the only one that can stop them. Our weapons are of no use against them? Is this true? Well, we haven't explored all our options. Nor do we have time to. We are fortunate you are here, Aqua. Your assistance would be most welcome. But Grand Councilwoman, you can't honestly believe what this stowaway says. I think you'll find I can. We have a crisis. Jumba and 626 remain at large, and these monsters are obstructing attempts to apprehend them. Or did I mishear your latest excuse as to why you've again failed to carry out your duties, Captain? Will you help us? Of course. Defeating them is my job. It's what I do best, ma'am. Then might I make one other request? Should you happen upon our fugitives, please do whatever you can to apprehend them intact. You want me to capture Dr. Jumba and Experiment 626? But you can't just... That's my job! You had your chance, Captain Gantu. Now you will stand down and await orders. <laughs> we will monitor the location of the monsters and keep you apprised. Thank you for your help, Aqua. Of course. Experiment 626 was carrying a wayfinder. I'd note that shape anywhere. Are Terra and Ven here too? You must be Experiment 626. I have orders to take you in. Sarah! What? I think you and I need to talk. <sighs> but first things first. Thanks. I owe you. What is it you're looking for? Huh? Wait! I just need to ask you! This must be the Wayfinder that 626 was carrying around. Dr. Jumba and Experiment 626 have been sighted. At that time, the two of them were wandering around the launch deck. Would you see that they're secured? Is Experiment 626 really that dangerous of a creature? We must assume so. All right, then. I'll head over there now. It's time to give up. Then I will fix abnormality. And ridiculous behavior stops. Hold it right there, huh? Dr. Jumba. Experiment 626. I've been authorized to take you into custody. <laughs> so it really does belong to you. But where have you seen that shape? His copy he made of good luck charm that boy Terra showed to him. Terra said friend gave him charm, was very protective of it. 
He really said that to you? Yes. Then you're still all right, Terra. And now, because of Terra and his little bauble, my genius creation is hesitating in his genetically programmed destructive instincts. Just look at him! Huh? What are you doing? Our orders are to capture them alive! I've decided to take a new approach. All right, you two. Any last words before I blast you into a million pieces? La la, Bradzuki! I'm just Big Bone! Freeze! Stop it! I warned you, stay out of it! I guess we have to do this the hard way. I'm not done with you yet. Enough! I observed everything on the monitor. I, I can explain. You've been of great service, Aqua. Thank you. <sighs> Captain Gantu, escort 626 to the asteroid to which he's been banished. When you return, you're back on patrol. Not patrol. Please, your highness. Would you consider sparing experiment 626? Spare him? He's an extremely dangerous creature. I cannot release such a menace. But it seems to me he's at least trying to make friends. And dangerous or not, I really believe he can succeed. Very well, Aqua. If he behaves himself, I will consider shortening his eggs. Thank you, ma'am. I like the charm you made. Do you think maybe my circle of friends could become part of yours? My name is Aqua. My friends are Terra and Ventus. Aqua. Terra. Don't get any more ideas. These guns are locked into your genetic signature. Huh. An intruder? All right, you. Don't get any funny ideas.
So you're the intruder. Identify yourself. My name is Ventus. The monster I was chasing boarded your ship. Nice try. If there was another intruder aboard, we'd have detected it. Huh? Intruder in the machinery bay. We lost control of the engines. It's some kind of monster. Now you tell me. Stay right there. I have lots of unpleasant questions to ask you. This is my fault. I have to do something. Huh? Then? Terra What? You know Terra and Aqua? Friend Circle. Hey, is that a wayfinder? Whoa! Huh? Huh? The engines are under too much stress! We're risking an explosion! What am I doing? There's no time! Huh? No, you need to stay here! It's too dangerous! I don't know how you did it, but you won't get away again. <laughs> you haven't fooled me. You can bat your eyes all you want at the Grand Councilwoman so she'll reconsider your sentence. But I see you for what you really are. An abomination that's only instinct is to destroy everything it touches. What is it? I see. Your Wayfinder broke. Well, don't worry. Friendship's more than an object. Friendship... Circle? Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't let the little mimic fool you. You saw for yourself what kind of monster that thing is. All it knows how to do is hurt and destroy. Monster? He helped me stop the monster! You must have triggered some sort of mutation hidden in the little freak's genetic coding. Then, friend! That's right. We are friends. Better say your goodbyes now, because 626 is about to be destroyed. <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> Come on! Sound the alert! Prisoners on the loose! Don't let them get away! The mask of peace and hope comes the fearless defender and hero of this town. It is me, Captain Justice. Huh? 
Huh? What? Now listen, you pipsqueak. I'm Captain Justice. Who are you to walk away when the bona fide hero is <sighs> offering his help? Um, I'm sorry, but I really don't need any kind of hero. Bona fide or... Somebody! <sighs> Oh, what's that? Trouble? Captain Justice to the rescue! You? Oh, now that's a shame. Where is it? Maybe this job's perfect for you, Mr. Hero. What? Name your catastrophe! Those annoying monsters have turned up again over in Fruit Ball Plaza. They're all yours now, Captain J. Monsters? Don't tell me the Unversed are here. Monsters? Well, too bad. Not on my list. I didn't know bona fide heroes got to pick. But I wouldn't stand a chance of surviving. You <laughs> rather fit them into my schedule. Gosh, I thought you said you were Captain Justice. You can't leave those menacing things running loose. They're ruining fruit ball. Huh? Hark, do you hear that? Somebody's calling for Captain Justice's help. Do not fear, I am on my way. Sounds like this catastrophe can't wait. But uh, I'll be back here in a jiff. Oh, I'm sure you will, Captain Useless. But I don't think I'll stay here and hold my breath. I'm anything but a hero, but maybe I could help if you want. Would you? Oh, that'd be just Jim Dandy. Someone needs to trounce those fiends at Fruit Ball and keep them away from the plaza. I'll try. Just give a holler once you're ready, and I'll explain to you how Fruit Ball works. Ah, you sure taught those monsters a lesson. You're the real hero in town if you ask me. He's right, my dear. I couldn't agree more. Thank you so much. Who are you? I'm Minnie. And she's our queen. Oh, please excuse me, your majesty. Where are my manners? My name is Aqua. There's no need to be so formal. Just call me Minnie. Huh. You see, I'm not sure I'm doing a very good job protecting my kingdom. Oh, don't say that, Queen Minnie. We all know how hard it's been since the king set off the way he did. Don't you trouble yourself. Why, we wouldn't even think of putting on our yearly dream festival if we thought there was the slightest chance anything might go wrong. Oh, you're very kind, Horace. How about that Pete, though? Captain Justice, my hide. You can't count on him for anything. Wait, you're saying his real name is Pete? Well, it sure as sugar isn't Justice. Pete never does anything for anybody except Pete. That get-up is just an act to get folks to vote for him. He wants to win the Million Dreams Award and hog the prize. Million Dreams Award? What is that? It's part of our dream festival. We all vote for who we think the most admirable citizen is. But Pete seems to have the wrong idea. He thinks that dressing up as a hero and proclaiming that he is one will win him votes. What really makes someone a hero isn't what they wear or what they say. It's the things they do and how they treat everyone. Well, in my book, Aqua here is number one. You got my heartfelt vote. <sighs> Thanks, Horace. I promise I'll try not to let you down. See that you don't. My vote's very important. Oh, 
dear, he sounds serious. <laughs> Being popular is tough. Who do you think's gonna win this year's Million Dreams Award? Boy, oh boy! I hope it's the guy I voted for! I voted for him too! Now that we got so much business at the shop, maybe we'll be number one! Wow, Huck and Scrooge sure would be proud of us if we actually won! Yeah, and I bet Alcadala would be pretty surprised too! Hello everyone, and thank you for waiting! Now it's time to begin the main event of our Dream Festival! The Million Dreams Award Presentation. <laughs> Just skip to the part where you say my name. This is a shoe in Oh, how very exciting! This year, we have multiple winners. The Million Dreams Award goes to... Ventus, Aqua, and Tara. All three of you. <laughs> <laughs> You mean Ven and Tara were here? What do you mean? No. <laughs> There's gotta be a mistake. Everybody voted for Captain Justice. I made sure. Now go on, tell her. No. <laughs> Better try the other one. The Rogue Racer, Captain Dark. We counted the votes very carefully. Ventus, Aqua, and Terra won. Oh, Pete, I think you tried to do something good, but you were doing it for the wrong reasons, and you went about it the wrong way. Still, a couple of citizens must have thought you had goodness in you because you actually got a few votes. They knew you were looking out for them. Big whoop. I don't need their lousy votes. Just cough up my prize. For you because they believe in you and care about you. How could you look down on that? I've tried to forgive a lot of things you've done, but this is too much. Now you finally crossed the line. Like that matters to me. Besides, what are you gonna do about it? Huh, I'm gonna let you cool off for a while. Guards! Wait, wait, what? Hey, let me go. Put me down. What? No, you can't. No, no, no. Hey, easy. Ow! Now, shall we continue the ceremony? With the three winners, Ventus, Aqua, and Terra, Please come up and join me on the stage. Oh dear, it looks like our other two winners couldn't make it here to be with us today. I must have just missed them. Perhaps you would accept the award on their behalf. After all, you've been so kind to so many here at the Dream Festival. So now, I hereby present the Million Dreams Award as a token of how much you matter to us. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. And as an extra treat, we've created something special. An ice cream flavor just for you. Royal Berry Ice Cream! Oh my, I wish I had my own ice cream flavor. What do you think? Delicious. You couldn't have picked a better flavor. Oh, we're all very glad you're enjoying it. Oh, 
Who does she think she is to be in a place like this? Well, I'll just bust out of here and... Quiet fool. You do not possess that kind of power. Who? Who's there? Show yourself! That is enough. Stop your sniveling and heed my words. Um, okay. If you do exactly as I say, I may decide to release you from this prison. Really? Oh, then you can count on me. Just get me out of here, and you can tell me what to do. A very wise choice indeed. Proceed. With your help, soon every world in existence will all be mine. Move it. <laughs> what are they, Captain? Back! You must get me, Treasure! Leave them to me. If I desired your assistance, I'd have demanded it. We had the situation under control. Isn't that right, Smee? Oh, yes, Captain, completely. We would have cleaved those fiends to the brisket, we would. Why, I'd have given them a little of this and this. And don't think your efforts mean you'll get a share of me treasure, understand? I'm not after your precious box, Captain. I'm looking for a person. A boy wearing a mask. Ring any bells? No, not a one. Figures. It's me, you blithering barnacle. We're off. We shall leave this place before the light draws them back again. Huh? Hey, hold on. What did you just say about the light? Ah, yes, it's heartbreaking, really. This chest, you see, contains light gathered from all around. And I've got an acquaintance, a boy, who's sure to try and seize it. A boy who's after the light. If it's not Venetus, then who? Hey, why don't I help you keep the light safe? Maybe you could tell me more about this boy who's troubling you. What's his name? Peter Pan! This chest must be brought to Skull Rock safely. Don't let that Peter Pan anywhere near it. Right. I got you covered. Name's Ventus, but everybody just calls me Ven. Huh. I guess when I sat down to rest, I must have fallen asleep. 
But where'd you come from? Well, you see... Hmm? All right, all right, we're going! So long, Ben! Hey, where are you guys off to? King saw a shooting star, and we're gonna go hunt it down! A shooting star? You mind if I come along? Of course not! But you gotta agree to follow us! Yeah! It's, uh, right over! That away! By the Indian camp! Ready, man? Forward, march! Okay! have here? Never seen you before. I'm Ventus. Call me Vent. Well, if you say so. Tension! Now then, ma'am, I don't suppose you'd want to capture some real pirate treasure? Real pirate treasure? Sure! Well, guess who caught sight of Hook right when he was stashing his treasure? What do you say we sneak in and grab it? Oh, boy! Let's go, let's go! Tinkerbell? What's gotten into you? We were all supposed to go hunt for a shooting star together. Forget that. Pirate treasure is way more fun. Tink, you're coming with us. Well, that's no way to respond to an invitation. Come on, Ben. You're a better sport than her, right? I'd love to join you, but first I want to find the shooting star. Well done! Pardon me, Captain, but it's about that shooting star I was mentioning to ye. Mr. Smee, I ordered you to drop that. I'll not have you gushing on about some shooting star. Yeah, but, but, Captain, most shooting stars twinkle for a bit and then they go out. But this one, it, it kept on sparkling and shining even after it crashed down. Why, what if it's really a big, enormous, priceless gemstone? Idiot! Why didn't you tell me? Hmm? <clears throat> We've a bit of business to attend to and must, I fear, step away. I trust you can see to things till I return? Sure. When Peter Pan gets here, I'll be waiting. That old codfish. Looks like he's found himself a new flunky. I'll fly down and distract him. Men, you move in and nab the treasure. Are you Peter Pan? That's me! The light is not yours to take. What do you want with the light? Light? What light? Look, Pan! We got the chest! No! Not yet, you blockheads! Hey! Oh. <laughs> that hurt! Oh, sorry! Now what is this? Pirate treasure, of course. Jewels, doubloons, you know, the usual stuff. I've been guarding a pile of loot? Sounds like you've been tricked. I'll say. I owe you an apology. I picked a fight over nothing. Oh, it was all in good fun. Not every day I get to fight such a good swordsman. Say, what's your name anyway? Tara. Right then, Tara. Which way did Hook go? They said something about a shooting star. Shooting star? Tinkerbell must be in danger. Men, guard that treasure with your lives! 
Aye, aye, sir! You go and get him, Pan! Well, I should be on my way. Mickey's Star Shard? <laughs> a shooting star and a pixie. Must be me birthday. Let Tinkerbell go! Ha! Huh, one of Peter Pan's brats. Well, tell that cowardly sparrow, if he wants his precious Tinkerbell back, he'd best meet me at Mermaid Lagoon. Stop! Scram! Fine. All's well. What's that? Tinkerbell, one of Peter Pan's dearest friends. Can I take a look? So long as I have his precious pixie, Pan's demise is all but assured. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? You know, I didn't give it that much thought. Just doing what my heart tells me. That's mutiny! And you'll walk the plank for it! <gasps> that sound! Hooray! We sure showed hook this time! Every star up there is another world. Huh? Terra. Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, Ven. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now! <laughs> oh, so much for the pirate treasures. Hmm. Did you guys really want the jewels and gold that badly? Hmm? No, we don't care about that stuff. Uh, but, uh, Pan was counting on us! I'll tell you what. Put the stuff that's really special to you in there. That can be your treasure. Yeah! yeah! Real swell idea! Thanks! <gasps> Kinda makes me wonder... what I'd put in there. I lost them. You ever wonder what stars are? Where light comes from? Below! 
Peter, help! Tinkerbell's been pixie-napped. Then I'm too late. Hook's gonna pay for this. He said to meet him at Mermaid Lagoon. Gotta be an ambush. Huh, that old codfish thinks he's clever. Hey, I'm going too. Well, we have to hurry. Can you keep up? You bet. Where's it coming from? On the water! Over there! Tink! It's you! And you're all right! What? A strange fellow with a funny-looking sword has... <laughs> Hold on! I gotta stop that cannon! Okay, I'll go after Hook. Right. Tink, if you would. What? It's pixie dust. Bet you feel lighter now, don't you? Alas, and so passeth a worthy opponent to think that his would be such an inglorious end. Uh. <laughs> At last, that scurvy brat will never trouble me again. I wouldn't be so sure of that, Hook. Swoggle me eyes! No! Don't tell me! Oh, Jimmy! Blast that Peter Pan! Oh, with that sound! No! Not again! Sister, stay away from me! I don't think so. Yep, the same chest I told you about. We snatched it right from Hook's hiding place. Huh? How come it's empty? Oh, uh, sorry, but we lost it all the treasures. Oh well, that's too bad. Ah, uh, who needs it? It was probably just full of dumb old jewels or doubloons or something anyways. We could just put what we treasure in there instead. If you wanna. Yeah, that's perfect. Instead of filling it up with jewels and gold and stuff, we'll put in what's truly special to us, the real riches. What are you putting in, Ben? I don't know. Hmm. How about this? Hmm, what is it? It's just something that one of my best friends gave me. So it's like a keepsake, huh? You sure you want to part with something that's special? Yep. I don't need it if I've got Terra and Aqua. Our best memories are still ahead. All right, then. Next time you visit, we'll have an even bigger chest waiting. 
Enough for all those treasures, and lots more. Okay, it's a deal. Oh, wait, Tink. I'm pretty sure that belongs to a friend of mine. Do you think maybe I could hang on to it? Now, Tink! Thank you. Don't worry, men. No matter where that light takes him, then he'll always have friends waiting to meet him. the rules the first one to find and claim the treasure map gets to be the leader and that's you leader of the expedition uh, we're going on a treasure hunt and that's our map you got what do you mean I never said girls can't be part of the gang come on Tink the more the merrier I'm sorry but I have something else I need to take care of here you keep it too bad, but rules are rules. I guess we'll just have to call off the treasure hunt. No! <sighs> All right, you win. I'll join you for one expedition. Yeah. Whoopee! Whoopee! As far as I can tell, we're here. And this mark here is where we'll find the treasure. Enough pointing! Come on, let's go! Wait a second. We still don't even know our leader's name. I'm Peter Pan. The jealous one over here is Tinkerbell. And you are... Aqua. So you're Aqua. Huh? Now, first stop, Mermaid Lagoon. Oh, okay. Japan. Today's the day I shall be rid of you forever! I'm busy right now, Hook! We're on an expedition! Can't I show you up some other day? You show me up now! Give back me treasure! Who's that? Ah, oh, that's just Captain Hook. He's a two-bit pirate codfish. I'll cleave you into two bits, boy! It's me! Oh, that was the captain signal! Fire! Mm -hmm. oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! We're sitting ducks out here! Run! What is it? The mark on the map points all the way up there! Ah, oh, relax. A little pixie dust and we'll be there in a jiffy. But we've never had to fly that high before. What if we fall? Hey, when did you two turn into cowards? Don't you think you're asking a bit much of them? This is between me and them, Aqua. Men, only the bravest of the brave can claim that treasure. 
Yeah, we know. Tink, if you would. We haven't got all day. Here we go! Hey, aren't we back where we started? You mean we went all the way around Neverland for nothing? Well, you conquered all sorts of obstacles to get here. And to me, that's certainly not nothing. You know, I had you all wrong. You were just looking out for them back there. Being a good leader. Yeah, of course I was. You're too late, Peter mm -hmm. Pan! I'll be taking what's mine now! It's Hook! It's me? Secure me treasure. Aye, aye, Captain. Ah! What is it now? <laughs> Captain, it's the treasure. It's been... been... Spit it out, you idiot! Hot fish! It's all junk! What do you mean, junk? Those are our treasures, Hook. But what did you do with my treasure? Oh, we lost it at all. You what? You scurvy brats have crossed me for the last time. Hmm? What's that? That sound? Not you again. No, get away from me. Smee, do something. Smee! Wait, Captain! <laughs> Is this? Oh, Ventus left that here. I guess it's a special keepsake or something. But don't worry about him. He said he would be all right without it. And then he promised to visit us again with even better treasures. Maybe enough to fill a hundred treasure chests. Then, he was here. <laughs> and someone else. What's the matter? It's nothing. Best that you stay here. <laughs> so, have a good time hanging out with the kitties? How'd you get that? I think that kid's outgrown such a childish toy. If you ask my opinion. <gasps> Just like... I've outgrown my need for you. You freak! Finally finished. <sighs> ben, Tara, you can rest easy.
You're too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid! <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? huh? <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? What happened? I'm fine. Oh no! Look at Vent's treasure! It's okay, Peter. Whatever it is that binds us together isn't gonna break so easily. And that's our real treasure. I think Ventus knew that. That's why he left this behind. You must really be close. And that's something pretty special. You? And Ventus and Terra, was it? One day, you should all come back. I'd like that. This light. It's so warm. Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star-shaped fruit. Aqua. Then, I wonder if we'll ever be a team again. Looks like all the things that once held us together just push us further away. And now the light has led me here. What am I supposed to do? Was I guided here in order to meet that boy? Oh! Ahoy! We're over here! Riku, race ya! First one to the boat gets to be captain! <laughs> Come on! You call that running? Outside world? Huh? Why would you say that? Because nobody lives out here. And I know you're not from the main island. Smart kid. So how about you? What are you doing here? Oh. My friend's dad took us out on the boat. This is where we like to play. But they won't let us row out here by ourselves. Not till we get older. Must be hard, huh? Stuck in one place? I heard once, there was a kid who left for good. Huh. 
So how did you get here anyway? Is there some reason you're interested in the outside world? Yeah. I want to be strong one day. Like that kid who left. He went to the outside world. I bet he's really strong now. I know it's out there somewhere. A the strength that I need. Strength for what? To protect the things that matter. You know, like my friends. Outside this tiny world is a much bigger one. In your hand, take this key. So long as you have the makings, then through this simple act of taking, its wielder you shall one day be, and you will find me, friend. No ocean will contain you then. No more borders around, or below, or above, so long as you champion the ones you love. You gotta keep this a secret, okay? Otherwise, all the magic will wear off. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what was that all about? Uh, you know. Know what? Why won't you tell me? Who was that guy? Somebody you know? Maybe. Oh, there you go again. Just tell me. I really can't. I've gotta keep it a secret. Not with me, you don't. I'm like the best secret keeper in the world. Nice try. <laughs> oh, Riku. Protect the things that matter. Right. My friends matter to me, too. So, I still have things that I have to protect. Gorge. The king must be pretty far away by now. Doesn't look like him. Oh. Uh huh? Look! That feller's got the uh -huh. star shard the king borrowed. King? Oh, you must be talking about Mickey. I saw him. What? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Go hey, on. take it easy. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Yen said, sir, we just got a clue as to where the king might be. Hmm. Ah, Ventus. Huh? Hericus has told me much about you. If I am not mistaken, you were ordered to return home. Well, sir, I... No matter. Huh? Mickey has difficulty following directions, too. Where is this clue to Mickey's whereabouts? I got it! This feller Venquist, uh, Venolite, uh, uh, Veggie, uh... Just call him Zed! Sure. That's what I usually go by. Zed had it when you got here! Please explain. I ran into Mickey, but we got sent flying into the light. I don't know where he went. Oh. <laughs> He wasn't in the same world as the one where I found that. As I thought, Mickey has been hurling himself from one world to the next. That explains why I could not discern his location. You can now, can you? Yes, I can. Oh, <laughs> 
There is a dark and powerful force that is interfering with my magic. Just tell us where the king is, Mr. Yen Sid, sir, and me and Donald will go right there and save him. You too? That may not be adequate. But I'm the captain of the king's royal knights! I'll find him. I recognize the place we saw. And you go, we'll go with you. No, I owe him. Mickey saved me once, and I can't risk putting his friends in danger. Oh. Don't worry. I swear I'll bring him back safe. Very well, Ventus. We will leave it to you. Tara, Fen, I hope we're ready for the storm that's coming. Hey, oh. wait up! Too slow, Sora. See you at the finish line. Time. You just got lucky. Mm -hmm. Huh? Huh? So sincere, just like Tara. And this one, he's a spitting image of Ven. <laughs> hmm? One of you might be special enough. Hey, you two mind telling me your names? I'm Sora! And you? Riku. Someone has already passed this boy the power. Was it Tara? Hmm. Sora, do you like Riku? Of course I like him. He's my best friend. Good. So then, if something happens and Riku is about to get lost, or say he starts wandering down a dark path alone, you make sure to stay with him and keep him safe. That's your job, Sora. And I'm counting on you to do it, okay? One keyblade is enough for any friendship. I learned it the hard way. I wouldn't wish our lives on those children. Tara, please tell me 
What's to become of us? Again, boy. You're starting to realize what you lost. Oh, but not for good. You had to lose in order to find. Now it can all be yours again if you only reach out and take it. Reclaim the part that left you. Clash with him. Pure light against pure darkness to forge the ultimate key. The all-powerful Key Blade! Not the key blades you and I carry. Key, a most ancient word. Some say Kai, but the meaning is the same. Death, a letter that spells endings. Marcus knows it too. He knows exactly what you are. The Master? Haven't you ever wondered why he never granted you permission to leave his side, to grow stronger? Marcus was frightened of you. If you were to learn the truth, realize what you are, he never trusted you. Why else would he keep you within his sight at all times? Yeah. He never let me see other worlds. No matter how much I asked. Go! You can ask the man yourself. Learn the truth! And remember, you have a greater purpose! been keeping from me all this time. Huh? That light. Is it Ben? Master Terra, find me. We must speak at once. Master Xehanort. Master Xehanort, you wish to see me? There is no time to lose. I have terrible news. Ventus has stumbled upon the secrets of his origins. Then? I just saw him. He passed right in front of me. What happened? Ventus is on his way home. 
If you could have seen the fury in his eyes, I'm certain he's capable of anything. I fear the boy may attempt to force the truth out of Ericus. Master Terra, you must hurry back and see to your friend's safety. Of course. Ventus, you're alone? I thought Akko would... Uh. Well, what matters is that you're home. You don't belong outside this world yet. You need to stay here, where you can learn... In your prison? What? That's your excuse. For keeping me imprisoned here, isn't it? What did you hear? Then I'm supposed to be some weapon. Some kind of keyblade! I knew it. Xehanort. He could never let it go. Wait, Xehanort! There is a reason the precepts bar us from such knowledge. Why do you seek the keyblade? Would you blanket all the worlds in darkness? Reduce them to nothing? But darkness did cover the world once, in legend. We know so little about the Keyblade War. Only that it was just the beginning. Amidst that crisis, a precious light was found. It is a curious tale, and one worth exploring. They say ruin brings about creation. So what then would another Keyblade War bring? When the darkness falls, will we be found worthy of the precious light the legend speaks of? I must have these answers. The Keyblade needs to be forged, and with it the door to the Keyblade War unlocked. Fool, you would risk an apocalypse out of sheer curiosity? I will never allow it, say it. Not while I live! But once again, you have it all wrong, Erechus. Darkness is a beginning, you see, not an end. At birth, every one of us emerges from darkness into a world of light, do we not? Poetic excuses! If words won't dissuade you, only one thing will! Darkness taken you, Xehanort! Not your concern. I failed. I had the chance to stop him and couldn't do it. But I will not fail again! Master, what do you... The Keyblade has no place in this or any world. Xehanort has made his purpose clear, and I am left with no choice. Forgive me. <laughs> but you must exist no more! Ben! What? Master! Have you gone mad? Terra! I command you, step aside! No! You will not heed your master? I won't! 
Why do all my attempts to reach you fail? If you don't have it in your heart to obey, then you will have to share Ventus's fate. Enough, Terra! He's right! Quiet! Terra! <coughs> You may be my master, but I will not let you hurt my friend! Has the darkness taken you, Terra? Wait, Terra! What have I done? Master... I just... wanted to keep Ven safe. No. You were right. I failed you, Terra. Perhaps I've no one to blame but myself for the darkness inside you. And now, I've done worse. Raised my Keyblade against you and Ventus. My own heart is darkness. Master Ericus. What a sight. Why do you trouble yourself with remorse, Master Terra? The man was bent on doing harm to your friend, his own pupil. <laughs> Master Xehanort, why? You know, at times I find your progress quite striking. But you still fall short. Let all that anger out, my boy! Give your heart over to darkness! What do you mean? Still so blind. Then I will make you see. Come to the place where all Keyblade wielders leave their mark on fate. The Keyblade Graveyard! There you will watch your dear Ventus and Aqua meet their ends. And the last fight within you will die! need a home anymore where you're going. What? Xehanort!
Is that Mickey? How'd this happen? Oh, last year, sir. Don't worry. I'll take you back to him. King Mickey! Aqua, the stars bring me grave news. Master Ericus's star has blinked out. I am afraid that means he has been struck down. Uh, the Master? But who is responsible? Master Xehanort and Terra. No! Oh. That's absurd! Terra would never! I hope with all my heart that you are right about your friend. There are some things even the stars cannot tell me. Where is he? Where can I find Terra? Terra's heart is leading him to the ancient Keyblade Graveyard, where wielders of those weapons once waged war. All right. I have to go after him and see if it's true. Be on your guard. Just be safe. I'll find a way to get you out of this. somewhere I'm through with you well I'm just getting started with you you're strong enough now to fulfill your purpose so what are you waiting for join with me right here and now become the keyblade no I won't do it he told me the only way the Keyblade can be forged is if you and me fight. Well, guess what? I'm not fighting. You used to be too broken to talk back. Because you're trying to hold it in. Let the dark impulses waken in the pit of your heart. Release them here and now. Sharpen your fear into rage. You must. If you do not let the storm within you run its course, it will wipe you from the face of the world. Make no mistake. Do it. Embrace the darkness. Produce for your master the key blade! Really? You would rather die than use the power? Feckless neophyte. If I must, I will extract the darkness from within you myself.
empty creature from Venter's Riven. To you, the name Vanitas shall be given. Yes, Master. Fine. Then I'll give you a reason to fight. What? Come and find me. At the one and only place to spawn the Keyblade. The Keyblade Graveyard. There, you're gonna see me choke the life out of Terra and Aqua. Then we'll see how long you play the pacifist. Wait! Aqua. I swear I'll put an end to this. do for friendship. The three of us will always be one. Friends forever. I was told the master was struck down. <laughs> yes, that's right. I was stupid and helped Saiyan or do it. <laughs> the master, 
He tried to hurt Ven. I only fought because I wanted to protect him. But I was tricked. Xehanort set the whole thing up. Also, he could awaken the darkness inside me. You were right, Aqua. And so was the Master. I did need to be watched. I went astray. But no more. What else is darkness but hate and rage? Xehanort is feeding the dark fires within you, making you fight. You'll go astray again. Tell me, how does that honor our master's memory, Terra? Xehanort wants me and Venetus to fight. And make some kind of keyblade. But the Master said we can't let that happen. And he tried to destroy me for it. Keyblade? I still don't know exactly what it is. But it scares me to death. Even just the thought of it. Relax, man. We're here, and we're gonna take care of you. <laughs> I may have to fight Vanitas after all. If I do, guys, I... I want you to... The three of us can never be torn apart, alright? I'll always find a way. I'm asking you, as a friend, just put an end to me. Lifeless keys used to be full of power. United with the hearts of their masters. On this barren soil, key blades of light and darkness were locked in combat. As a great keyblade war raged, countless keyblade wielders gave up their lives, all in search of one ultimate key. And it will soon belong to me. Keyblade!
you okay? done. I knew this was a journey you could make. Over the unseen wall that divides darkness and light. And I was not wrong! Terra! My friend, Ven. You tell me, Sayonor. What did you do to him? Why, I did him a favor and freed the darkness inside him. Alas, poor Ventus never had the fortitude for such strenuous trials. Say an How about you leave the popsicle with me? So you can go have your little fight with Terra. Uh. You can't be too happy about him deep-sixing your master. <laughs> Who are you? You think you two have got some grand role to play? As if. You're only here so that when I finish you off, Terra will succumb to the darkness. So, who wants to go <laughs> first? Shut up! Oh, so this kiddo thinks he's a full-fledged Keyblade wielder. He's got the angry look down. Go ahead if you want to waste your time. Keep trying to drive us apart with your mind games. It'll never work. Terra will prove to you he's stronger! Aqua! Go take what Ventus owes you, and take Aqua's life! You see how powerless you are to save them. Savor that rage and despair. Let it empower you! You will pay, Xehanort. Was my master? No. My father, Ericus, not enough for you? Leave my friends alone! Yes, boy, that's it. More! Let your whole heart blacken with anger! I keep forgetting don't mess with Keyblade wielders. But you know what? That just means I made the right choice. Well, he wanted me to buy time, and I'd say he got it. What?
done it, Ventus. <laughs> now that my body is about to perish, you and I will have to join together. <laughs> the Keyblade will be forged! <laughs> The inverse come from you? <laughs> it happened when you and I were split into two. The negativity took shape as these monsters. They are what I feel. A horde of fledgling emotions under my control. I released them in all the worlds I could. Hoping to lure you away from home and isolate you from your master. We needed to make you stronger. The Unversed were the perfect opponents. And better yet, no matter how many times you defeat them, their negativity flows right back into me. You never stood a chance against us, Ventus. for the final union! What? At last our moment is here. Out with the old and brittle vessel, and in with a younger, stronger new one. I swore I would survive, and be there to see what awaited beyond the Keyblade War. And now, it is your darkness that shall be the arc that sustains me! This heart belongs again to darkness. All worlds begin in darkness, and also end. The heart is no different. Darkness sprouts within it. It grows, consumes it. Such is its nature. In the end, every heart returns to the darkness whence it came. Your body submits, your heart succumbs, so why does your mind resist? You're okay.
thank goodness. Then... You're safe! Then... Oh! <laughs> That's not Ben! Correct. I am not Ventus. His heart has become a part of mine now. <gasps> this Keyblade will open a door. One that leads to all worlds. Then, Keyblade-bearing warriors will flock here from each and every one of them to battle for the light within Kingdom Hearts. And just like the legend says, the Keyblade War will begin! Shut up! I'm sick of your nonsense! Give Ben his heart back! Our union was not finished. The Keyblade shouldn't stay broken like this. Join me now. We can complete the Keyblade! I've got a better idea. How about I destroy you both? <laughs> the Keyblade is made of your heart too, idiot. If you destroy it, your heart will vanish forever. Whatever it takes. Anything to save Terra and Aqua. <laughs> it's always about your friends, isn't it? At least I have some. I've become a part of their heart. Just as they become a part of mine. My friends are my power, and I'm theirs! What's wrong? Giving up already? Terra... Fen... Lend me strength. You're just wasting your energy!
one day, I will set this right. This place... I've been here... So warm... I remember now... This is your heart... Consciousness. Fortunately, Mickey found you and Ventus drifting in the lanes between and brought you back to me to receive proper care. <sighs> I am sorry, but there was no sign of terror. I see. <sighs> Ven. Ventus. The boy's heart is sleeping. When will he wake? I could not say. It is almost as though his heart has left. Should it return, he may very well wake. Should it not, then he may sleep like this for all eternity. No. I'll keep him safe. Until he wakes. Forever if I have to. I will tell you what your friend needs right now. It is not your protection. He needs you to believe. You see, Ventus's heart hangs in the balance. It sleeps in the place between light and darkness. From all I can perceive, that means he will be looking for a friend, one who believes in him, to show him the way home. Just as long as you love him, then Ventus will be able to find you when he wakes. He can follow that love back to where he belongs. The Realm of Light. Ah. Don't you worry, Aqua. I believe in Ben, too. Gosh, he's been as good a friend to me as anybody. And if both you and me believe in him with all our hearts, then he'll have two lights to follow instead of one. <sighs> Three lights. Tara. But Tara's gone. Maybe for good. Mm-mm. I think... I know how to find him. Ven needs a safe place. That's where you want to go.
Of course, I would never let that happen. I promise you I will bring Terra back. Only this time, you'll see he has what it takes to be a master. <laughs> He's not as weak as you think. Aqua. Yes? yes? Now that you are a master, there is one secret in particular you must know. Should anything happen to me, and you find the Legion of Darkness at our doorstep, I ask that you take my Keyblade and use it to lock this land away. What? Generations of Keyblade Masters have been charged with keeping this land safe. Light and darkness exist in balance here, and there are those who would abuse such neutral ground. This is why our predecessors devised a certain trick. Just use the key, and this land will be transformed. From that day forward, all who visit this land will be lost to oblivion. None ever able to solve a mystery. None, Aqua. Except you. I know it's a lonely place, but you'll be safe. Tara and I will be back to wake you up before you know it. Tell me where to find you. Tara? Yeah. 
Terra's heart has been extinguished. <laughs> smothered by the darkness within him! My name is Master Aqua. Now return my friend's heart, or pay the price! Stop fighting back! Tara, I know you're in there! This'll teach you! Get out of my heart! This can't have you! <sighs> I have to do something, or we'll both be lost. With you. Go! Then I'm sorry. I might not make it back as soon as I thought, but I promise I'll be there one day to wake you up. I'm gonna head back. Uh. Yeah, me too. Huh? Sora? What's wrong? Huh? You're... Uh, that's weird. It's like... Something squeezing me inside. Somebody up there must be sad. Up where? They say every world is connected by one great big sky. So maybe there's somebody up there in all those worlds who's really hurting. And they're waiting for you to help them. Well, gee, do you think there's something I could do? Hmm. Maybe they just need you to open your heart and listen. I don't know, Riku. You say some weird stuff sometimes, but I'll try it. Okay. Mm.
Can you hear me? Right this way. Young man, what ails you? Can you speak? Tell me your name. Xehanort. Xehanort. Huh? Quickly, get him to the castle. You can count on me. Dylan, get those for me. Seems like I've been walking for ages. How long have I been down here? Maybe I should fade into the darkness here. I guess it's been so long. I almost forgot how to smile. There's always a way.
Your voice. It cut through the darkness around me. Huh. All alone, I followed the sound into a sea of light and found myself here with you. Mm. You gave me something back when I needed it most a second chance. I did? But. Now I have to go back to sleep again. Are you sad? Would you mind if I stayed here with you? 
Sure, if it will make you feel better. Thank you. Well, you know, I think it worked. Darkness rules your heart. It gives me control. Muscle and sinew that once obeyed you now rebels against you. How you can remain here at all confounds the mind. It's still my heart. You think you can just come in and take over? I'm not gonna sit by and let that happen. Hm. Don't even entertain any notions of escaping me, boy. In the end, your heart will be engulfed by mine forever. Wrong. You're gonna get shown the door, old man. As I recall, you couldn't even handle your own darkness. How then will you triumph over mine? <laughs> well, you'll find out soon enough. Oh, so that's how it is, is it? Someone else has set foot in your heart. Ericus, his life hawks. I'm not afraid of what the darkness holds now. Even if you do wrest control of my heart from me. Even if you cast me into the deepest, darkest abyss. You'll never sway me from the one cause that pushes me to keep on fighting. Whatever the cost, I'm ready to pay it. Brave words, to be sure. But I'm a patient man. We can take as much time as we need to settle this little property dispute. However, know this. You are just one of many roads that I might choose to take. Trust me, I made certain of that. <laughs> Mr. Master. Oh, come on, you don't even know your pal? Please tell me the amnesia was just a sick joke. Boy, this is some cliche. <sighs> hey, you're not. Terra. Just gotta check. <laughs> As if. Well, don't sweat it. I got your back.
Who are you? Hmm? Why, hello. It's not often I get visitors. Please, call me Aqua. Why are you sitting here all alone in the realm of darkness? How did you end up here? Well, I can tell you this is my second time on these shores. But unfortunately, much like the first, I do not remember who I am or whence I came. Everything was washed away in whatever currents carried me here. That's too bad. I know I've been here a long time. Wandering through the endless hours. Unable to escape. You wish to return to your own world? It's my friends. I promised I'd be there for them. Your friends? Somewhere in the scraps of memory I have left, you remind me of a boy I once knew. He is very much like you. True to his friends and kind, this boy travels to many worlds and fights to keep the light safe. Keep the light safe? I've been away too long. Did something happen out there? Are the worlds in danger? Sad to say, they nearly fell to darkness more than once. But at every turn, that boy arrived with keyblade in hand to save the day. Huh? Wait a sec. Is his name Terra or Ven? Neither of those, I'm afraid. <sighs> Should have known. How long has it been since I met him? At least a year now, perhaps more. Back then, my heart was clouded with vengeance. I did terrible things, both to him and his friends. I brought unhappiness to more lives than one. I felt something must be done. Was that why? A means of clearing my conscience, or perhaps out of a sort of scholarly instinct? While the boy slept his long sleep, I hid the results of my research inside him, transplanting the data to where it might best serve a purpose. In fact, I would like to believe, maybe he can set things right. A boy like him who touches so many hearts, he could open the right door and save all those people whose lives I managed to ruin. So many are still waiting for their new beginning, their birth by sleep. Even me, and even you. What's this boy's name? His name is...
Sora. Sora. Oh. Riku. Your mind's made up? Yeah. It's just, they really need me. I have to go. I am who I am. Because of them. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs>